Welcome to Starfinder, the Fragments of Eternity, session 45. It is the 17th of March, 2020. I am Ryan GM. Here are the players, in no particular order. Hello, I'm getting in there first before somebody usurps me. <laughs> I am Nico, and I play Zora, the vice captain. Hi, I'm Alex, I play Weird, the android mechanic. Hi, I'm Last. I play... <laughs> I, uh, I'm Colin, I play Lyco Quint, the uh, Barai operative. And you know what I did there? I did a, a funny joke where I actually described what he is accurately. Yes. Did actually. Only took 45 actually. sessions, but I... <laughs> 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 An intro. I was not last, because Callum will be cooking. last. Callum should be joining us in, I don't know. Uh, no, he'll be re-last. Yeah. It's my... The re last thing. We won't redo it, so yeah, no, he will be last, but he'll be like... Bitch last, you know. It's fine. Bitch last. Bitch last, okay. That's so what well. you get when you've got a Z. Oh wait, I've got a Z. Uh, yep. Yep, <laughs> well done, Captain. But, uh, uh, but so, he, he doesn't have the alternate name. What do you remember from last time? It's very <laughs> Yeah, conspiracy Craig, I suppose, is the most prominent part of it. Um, we went for milkshake. We went for the wee din -dins. Um Yeah. Colin did his internet trolling. Yeah, I was just really speaking with the guy. I was quite... I think it means your, your newspaper moment. <laughs> oh, trolling. Yeah, well... <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Uh, that's true. I, I, I did spend some time having a we little bit of a look through. May or may not have temporarily jacked a taxi and then just unjacked it. <laughs> just abandoned <laughs> it, really? Exactly. And if you just abandon it, is it really theft? Yes. Did I catch everything? Is that everything? Or did I miss something huge that happened that forgetting. You're, that you were weird with the queen. Well, the queen was I mean, weird with you, but you were really both weird. I mean, it's royalty. Man. Royalty. Is it bad mm. that I've only just remembered she was with you guys? That's really bad. Mm. Like, that's my character. Right. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're all bad here. <laughs> okay. Um, weird. Did they miss anything else out? Things got a bit weird. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, I look probably good. Good. So let's move on to goals. Talk me through them, gang. Um, uh, let me see here, because I don't have the right put the right to that. The to that. That's a new word. Tab. Put it in a dictionary yep. right now. Uh, star goals. Let's <laughs> change. <laughs> Get back to the final on the group. Slash brief debrief. Briefs pretty much right they happened almost pretty much, but yeah. Yes, briefs. Happy Apparently with more. Happy with that? Yep. Hopefully. Hopefully you're happy with it, yeah. Yeah. Attain gear on Akaton. <coughs> Cheap cheerful. <laughs> Cheesy. Charismic. I mean we can there is a spare goal slot, really. So there is kind of anyway, maybe. Who else? Number two, Alex. Yes. Yeah. Um, I really only need to get them back. Well, actually, make weapons and get back to the ship. So, mm -hmm. but hey, that's what we're going to achieve on Akaton. Oh, good. Okay. Almost have a horrible workshop. <laughs> And number three is currently sitting at Gain Allegiance with CC and Get Autograph. Do you want to clear that and make one, or are you happy with that? Um. Because I feel like that was a placeholder. What do you mean? Allegiance? Uh, Again, if you want to reward it, we can. I think it's kind of. I, I think uh, I think that's probably all right. I mean, we can reword it, but I think the general idea of it is is fine. Cause yeah, because you could just replace Gain Allegiance with the word ally. Yeah, or, or or even just like secure alliance with or secure allegiance or something like that. 
I mean, it's 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 all right. It's close enough. Yeah. And if we have one motto here, it's that it's close enough. <laughs> there, that's slightly succinct. Secure an ally in CC and get autograph. Yes. Next one is gather intel to pursue the next objective, as per Colin. I Happ think... Happy with, because that really is a decide what the next objective is still. Mm hmm I think that's worth... Well, in, 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 if anyone feels we should, should change that, uh, I'm happy to see if we can... Yeah, I feel, a bit I feel like it's going to be a placeholder until people tell you what intel to get, doesn't it? So, I mean, yes. maybe that conversation needs to happen in-game for that to become a real goal. I think oh, it kind of needs to follow on from like yeah. the re -group and, and debrief yeah, that's what I could have aspect. Mm -hmm. Then we've got, obviously, so the Put one. the cards on the table, I suppose, at that point, and actually decide what the fuck Drive direction the we're the going. Piece. And we've got from, yeah. explore a possible connection between the solar and void eggs, is what Zig's contribution to the goals is currently to. And we'll discuss and that with him when he joins. Will pursue that. Probably. It's Zig. But maybe he mm. won't, because it's Zig. So, we'll, we'll just need to wait and see. Uh, but yes, that is us. Discuss goals. Any major changes you want to make to them in general at all? Or are we good to move on? I think we're good. Good. Okay. So, we are on Castrovel. We can focus back in on the wonderful, wonderful Castrovel. Because we're in Castro City, I believe. Let's move us to a nice picture of that. There we go. It does look very nice, doesn't it? It is a very nice place, yeah. So you are there. I believe we we ended with uh, <laughs> Lyco leaving the proxy for Craig mm -hmm. um, after having exchanged that mini revelation uh, that he indeed was talking to a conspiracy Craig from the conspiracy Craig forums. Uh, what is everybody else up to while such a thing transpires? Because I believe the rest of these were having a meal. So we're having a meal. What do you do after uh, that? I go on about to leave uh, to go... Do we know if we can meet up point? Do we know if we're going to be up? I think maybe that's the best thing, right? Maybe not starting with you guys, because I think you were pretty much on hold for the outcome of whatever Lyco's shit was, so maybe we really need to check yeah, out Lyco first. Yeah, I think yeah. So I'm come back and... Yeah, because we ended with the conspiracy kick revelation, right? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So I would need to get back in touch with them. So yeah, let's open with Lyco after, like, leaving the diner or whatever. Um... Yeah. Uh, well, I would walk a little bit, and then I would calm the captain. So yeah, I will. I will open comms. Hello, Captain. I uh, I believe I may have uh, secured a valuable contact. Um, we'll discuss it once we're somewhere a bit more permanent. Uh, where are the, where where are the uh, the crew? Uh, he's, he's American. He's not American. There is no America, but he'd see as where is the crew? Uh, we are currently at what's the name of the place? The Rose Garden. Rose Garden. Um, I think we were on our way to secure transport. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, I would look over. At the Queenie, she's probably taken like some kind of a bag to go of food. That's true. That's true. Which uh, which rose garden is that? Uh, it's the street names in this area. You can just send the coordinates. You can just send your location, right? I will give. The, I will give the coordinates. Touch the thing that does that. You recognise. 
obviously likely this is exactly where you had been. Yeah, no, I, I, I would, uh, I would chuckle to myself and say nothing to the captain. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, uh, I, uh, I saw that one. I'll be with you. In how long did it take me to get here? It was like twenty minutes or something. Or? Uh, you hustled. It was about forty minutes, I think. Forty minutes, right? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, uh, yeah, no, of course it was because it's like about twenty minutes left after that. Uh, it'll take me um, approximately. I would suggest you could get a cab hour. there, but you are quite tight in money, so. Yeah, and also I prefer not to get a cab if I avoid it. Mm -hmm. uh, would it be easier for me to meet you en route? Sorry, on <laughs> on route. <laughs> I would nod and I would say to the Queen, I assume we're going to the spaceport. And she kind of just, I don't know, she's maybe just looking at Zig pleasantly with her bag of food, kind of held politely. And then she, just, she looks up and she says, Excuse me? Are we going to the spaceport? The transport? Is that where you wish to go? You're the one that said you can secure this transport. Yes. Is this only possible at the spaceport? Can you actually secure us transport in do this you, era? Do you think that I will renege on my word? Not at all. I believe you will absolutely try to get his transport. I'll give you the benefit you of the doubt. You see her eyebrow twitch a little bit when you say try. And I will, I will. She looks I less will. pleased with that comment. And more like a disappointed queen. Uh, I thought I'd to explain the situation. I don't think I'm going to ask me uh, To the spaceport then. I feel like this is the going to go. It's planned, lads. It depends. Are you talking to her? Or are you talking to Lyco? No, oh, I'm just, I'm just talking about a character. <laughs> that was that last. I just like the idea that it, it, it just, it just cuts <laughs> to Lyco face palming because he just know he can hear over the open comms just this conversation. Just... I, I mean, uh, maybe I'll, I'll whisper it to Lyco then. A lower tone. This isn't going to go very well. <laughs> uh, well, uh, we'll have to, we'll have to find out. Um, Meet you at a spaceport. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll head towards it. I might be able to get there quicker than I can even get to where you are now. We'll see. Uh, Quint out. Tell you what, why, why don't both of you roll a d6? D6? Pooh, 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 Four rolling prick. <laughs> Four rolling prick. Yeah, imagine rolling. Yeah, far around prick. That's rude, really. <laughs> yeah. No, it just means. Dead. Why not since shit, man? It just means that uh, Lyco's going to get to the spaceport quicker. That's all. Oh, fucking. Ah! It, it was one of the ones you wanted to score low. Of <laughs> course um, it is. I don't score high. <laughs> well, you two have no, numerous people in tow that probably are slowing you down. It's no way to talk about you, Zig. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is he here? No. So I think it's fair. <laughs> I think that speeds you up significantly. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, so I think maybe you both like, you know, Castro Valley and Google your way to the uh, the spaceport. And obviously like I don't Castro. like you're maybe thirty minutes away and Zora you're forty minutes away. That's an easier way to just sync this up, right? Okay. Oh sure. So you've confirmed it on comms, that's fine. Okay. Shall we be off to the spaceport then? Don't ask them, tell them. Flag a taxi. <laughs> I love how you're like, like a 40 minute walk away and you're like, yep, taxi. I mean, walks for peasants, man. <laughs> <laughs> we are in fact peasants. Uh, I don't know, I mean... Truly, we live in a society. As this orders, okay. I mean, if you want, to, 
you can have a that if you want to just sync up to the Uber of this world here. You can boot yourself a oh. hundred credit taxi. Uh, I mean, I may as well, right? Yeah, why not? It's only hundred credits. Let's do it. I've done it already. Three times, in fact. Yeah. <laughs> this will be the third anyway. Yeah. What so about, you can do that. What about? Cool. So you just can get there, obviously, much quicker. Um, well, let's just call it 15 minutes or whatever. So do you want to do anything specific for 15 minutes before you say meet Lyco? It's a bit of cab awkwardly, as you do when there's royalty in it. Well, I mean, yeah, it'll be 15 fun. minutes or whatever to like to get there, but then you've got 15 minutes till Lyco arrives, so you're not going to be... the cab's going to leave. Oh, but we'll definitely like, go try and have a wee bit of speaking to people already, I suppose. Find out about shippage, your highness. Totally long gone. So, spaceport. You've got Zig with this egg. Zig. Uh. It could be tradesmen. <laughs> <laughs> Merchants. He just, he just says that to people looking at him funny. We could be tradesmen. <laughs> <laughs> Travelling yeah. merchants. <laughs> Haven't you heard of the travelling no. vesk with the top hat? Where's your top hat? I sold it. Tradesman trade. of antiquity. It looks like an antique, right? Yes. Oh dear. Famous Fabergé egg of Earth, they say. Where's Earth? Who knows? <laughs> Wrong setting. <laughs> Doesn't that translate to dirt? <laughs> the dirt <Yeah>, egg. Possibly. <laughs> Air ground. Looks right. very dirty, yes. So you've got your four-legged android, mm. four-armed, I should say, or, yep. four-legged, whatever, four-armed android. Don't worry, I've got plans for that. I know, it's, it's fine. Is he forewarned? Forewarned, four-legged, four-armed, for sure. So, oh, for sure. you've got your android weird with your suit of armour you're punching holes into. Are you wearing it yeah. now? Because I said you could you could probably wear it now, it just obviously yeah, yeah. is questionably protecting. Um, just, I'm now trying to integrate my from cannon into it. The C to make it back up to the level it was before, you're probably going to have to buy another suit and take the arms off it and all the components mm. out, just to build arms, like to attach those arms onto it. Yeah. So that the integrity is the same. You could definitely jury rig something, but whether or not that's going to be as good is up to you. So there's your options as an engineer. Um, is essentially buy it again and just tape it together. Um, <clears throat> but I'll leave that up to you in your shopping trip. Yeah. In the future, but that's stuff that maybe went through your head in the taxi ride over. Um, but yeah, so you're standing outside the spaceport. Obviously, it's huge, it's bustling. It's like a big fancy sci fi uh, airport, I guess. Yeah. And then, yeah, like, <laughs> who do you want to talk to, Zora? Uh, well, I mean, I would, again, I would see we to the Queen. She's the one who wants to get transport, right? In fact, maybe it's not a good idea. Maybe I just toddle this. Right. Well, I mean, it's up to you, right? So, do you want her to get you transport as per her promise? Yeah, that would be preferred. I don't want to pay, pay for it, quite frankly. I, I, I need all the money I can get. <laughs> so, yeah, like maybe as you've been, been waiting for a couple of minutes and you were rattling around your head, the thoughts will I go, go speak well. to somebody? Will I go, uh, you know, will I ask her? Will I be queen? She comes to you and says, Is this where we have to secure transport to Akaton? Not. And and she can kind of motion us to all the people going around. And any of these people have transport? Uh, not quite. Usually, you would have to go inside. It's usually, be somebody with a. It's usually, be a ship, right? You know, you don't have. Oh, no mates. Do you know what? Ship, right? Yes, people. <laughs> ships. Yes, I'm aware of this. But the. There'll be some day in there that'll be like, let's just go. <laughs> and she puts her hand up and she's like, speak your mind. We'll see. We'll, we'll find some day in there, I'm sure. Let's go inside. I'm not sensing a great deal of trust. <laughs> not at all. Um... Hopeful. I'm hopeful. You're impatient. 
Yeah, well, haven't met Alice. She like tilts her head slightly. Alice. You see. Oh. <laughs> Is this one of the many people you wish to introduce me to in the greater solar system? Um, she's part of crew. She's I not see. here. I see. And what is An her important qualification? And what is her place within the crew? That's a good question. <laughs> um, pilot slash engineer slash mascot. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> Ivan's not the mascot. <laughs> yeah, Ivan's yeah, in the mascot. Yeah, it's so true. Boys. Um, I guess. He's the waste engineer. <laughs> Recycling. <laughs> but yeah, so she kind of like tells her like pilot. Mm. Someone that controls the ship. A lot. I see. But like a uh, helmsman. I see. And she like, you can tell she understands now. Yes. <laughs> so she was. I don't know how I know all these old terms, right? Yeah, Sorry. that's fine. Like it's not really <laughs> old terms. Like that's still a term you would use for this. Thing. It's a bit generic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's fine. It's, you know, universal. You could say. Um, and she says, "We are not complete." Then, and she looks around, implying, "Lyco, you can work that out." Um. Uh, do you wish? Be. Do you wish to wait for him? Yep. Probably a good idea. I don't know how long it will take inside. Leave that to me. I would nod. Don't know if it's slowly. <laughs> Is there anyone else you wish to bring? Or anything else you wish to bring? That may change the conversation I have inside. Ah, oh, see. Um, I don't know what you want to do. Uh, for, uh, I don't know what I mean. I mean, at any point you can just phone Colin, right? Or like, or I should say. Uh, I will phone. Sure. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll put up a finger and start calling Colin, like, or. And uh, assuming, you know, nothing in, in, impedes with this, yeah, I will I will answer pretty much immediately. Uh, yeah. Hello, Captain. You're uh, not bringing any uh, friends. Uh, um, why does that sound like you're uh, under attack? The way you said that. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the contact will be able to meet us um, at another location. I would nod, even though you can't see it. But that's fine. Um, and okay, good. Um, that's all I need to know. I mean, okay. it could it could be FaceTime, right? It's good video call each other if you wanted. Um, well, no, I think I think Lyco prefers not to do that, bro. <laughs> I like um, the idea that just to be stupid nipple, like like calm, you know. Who's uh, got a stupid nipple? Calm. Ah, uh, sure. Um, <laughs> like uh, a finger. I'll uh, I'll be with you in. What would, yeah, you know, it's like less than fifteen minutes. Yeah, yeah, like I'll be with you in a, in a you know so, so something in the region of fifteen minutes. No, but not again. Okay, good. See you then. Went out. Uh, should be fine. I would say the queen. Um, he's only fifteen minutes out. Though, so might as well just wait. So it is myself, yourself. Lyco, Weird, the Egg, and the Zig. Yes, 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 nod. <laughs> I'm not forgetting anything crazy, am I? <laughs> do, do you require use of this star vessel beyond your trip to Akaton? Uh, we shouldn't. We should be able to get in contact with our ship on Akaton and we should be away. Uh, 
plus we could yeah. probably get another one cheaper and hack it so if need be. She nods then. And she says, Leave this to me. And she just like turns around and just like walks inside with her kind of gown trailing behind her. I do a fall to even. She like probably stops about maybe a couple of paces away and then walks back. And <laughs> hands you her a uh, scythe. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll hold on to this, will you? Make sure that you do. Okay, so I'll fall uh, not. And then, eh. Uh, <laughs> she just like, she stares at you for a bit. And she's protocol, I believe, would be best adhered to. Uh. Catching on, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, that's probably what. Norm- I don't know. She was in a fantasy land. People walking about with sides on their back was probably normal, so. Catching on, right? <laughs> yeah, but obviously yeah. she's she's been staring at everyone round about, right? Like constantly to try and take in as much as she can. So maybe she's worked out nobody else is carrying scythes. So it's true, it's true. And then uh, she heads off into the start, like the like the starport, spaceport, whatever. Um, yeah. So some time passes, I guess. Do you do anything outside the spaceport? Uh. I would breathe, go, that's a piece of what? Exhale. What about, what about weird? What's weird up to? Weird is tinkering with the armor. Yep. Like he's kind of using every opportunity, I think, to try and. Uh, yeah, like any downtime, essentially. Yeah. yeah. He wants to. Basically, building everything he owns into it. Mm hmm. That makes sense. I think a lot of the problem again is just access to the parts that you need for yes. it. Like you could probably mm-hmm. cannibalize, as I said, the bits you've taken out of the suit so far to make the holes, but there's only so much you could really do with it, and you've used probably most of those components to try and like make sure you don't just stab yourself with broken parts of suit <laughs> for the most part. Yep. Um But yeah, I think once you get to like again a workshop with stuff, mm. actual raw materials, you'll be able to do most of what you're trying to do, I guess. Um, yep. Yep. But maybe even it's just like kind of bringing up your compad and bringing up blank documents and designing oh, right, yeah. like yeah, yep. like stuff, schematics and whatnot for what you're looking to do and running simulations to see if it's going to work. Yep. Stuff like that. Uh, Zig's probably just hugging the egg. Probably. Let's face it. That's that's a fair bit. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Um, He's healing deeply of the egg. And uh, it's probably not that difficult oh. to spot them, Lyco, as you approach, as they stand outside the entrance way to the spaceport, mm. one of the many entrances. So, yeah. Here's the thing. Do you want to roll me a, a d4, Lyco? D4? Yeah, and I want. Sure. We're getting weird to do it as well. Do you want to do my d4 as well? Weird. Uh. Yours is for the party, so. Four. Okay, cool. So you approach from oh, you approach from the other side, essentially, um, like the other corner, because let's just say it's like a a, a four walled huge building with different entranceways and whatnot. Um, so you're at the building. Do you go in? Do you walk around? What's Lyco's first approach? Okay. Uh. How large? How large is it roughly? It's huge. Huge. Okay, so I'm not exactly going to be able to properly case the place out. Um, it just depends how long you want to take, right? I don't think you'd waste too much time. So, a uh, sort of casual stroll around. You know, maybe not taking the first entrance he sees. Maybe like going for the second. Yeah. Clockwise, anti-clockwise. What we're talking? Uh, let's see, anti clock. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can start walking around the corner and you spot the lineup that is a Vesk, a four armed android, a giant golden egg, and the tail of a rat just from the side of the egg. See, now I wonder what would happen if we went the other way. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, okay, yeah. I, I, Imagine I, I, it wasn't the crew, it was just another know, that similar would be quite an extraordinary coincidence. <laughs> How extraordinary, I'm sure they would say. Um, I, I will approach them. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. And greet them as friends and colleagues. Well, maybe not so much that, so much as just wave as soon as I know I've been noticed. Yeah, so you have regrouped nicely. So, what'd you find out? Uh, I keep mind you're out, you're standing outside. This is the equivalent of standing outside in the taxi rank at Central Station in yeah. Glasgow. Like this is what this is. Anyone that doesn't know that Google Earth exists, guys. Catch up with us. Um, maybe, uh, maybe best discussed more privately. But uh, I think I think I got a valuable, uh, potentially valuable uh, connection. I'll, uh, well, as I say, we, we can go over it more once we're out of here, but uh, yeah, no, I, I definitely feel like this is going to be worth pursuing. Might be able to help us with all sorts of things. Don't expect too much material help, if any, but definitely mm. a potentially good source. Well, Blanfo would be good at this point. Uh, that's what I was thinking, Captain. Um, we're waiting for transport, or...? Yeah, maybe at this uh, point you notice the lack of the Queen being anywhere in the group. Yeah, so Her Majesty has taken it upon herself to go try and obtain transport inside. Um, I mean, she's adhering to the promise. Let's not, you know, dress it up yes. differently to what it is. She promised you yes. transport to Akaton. Um, so yeah. Uh, has she been long? Um, ten minutes now, probably. Is that right? Uh, about like ten, fifteen minutes. I like just try a fifteen, probably. However long it took you to, and hard to exchange conversation and phone Lyco and then end that. I think uh, I think I can easy. I can fairly say Lyco's probably been around enough that he would have an idea of if that was a reasonable amount of time. I mean, it depends how you're doing it, right? If you're going to book transport, right, to somewhere normal, like you could book mm -hmm. transport to Akaton, which isn't that far away from here, right? It just depends if there are transport going there. Like, booking it is not a big deal. It depends when yeah. you're going to go, uh, how much money you've got, how you're going to travel. Because keep in mind, you'll have private people that house, like, ships here that will take your money. Obviously, it might be exorbitant amounts more than what the generic public transport service might charge but most things are privatised, funnily enough in the, the Castrovel spaceport um, obviously with the packed world as government being a bit in disarray right now it's a bit difficult to have a, any organisation for the public transport network Sure. Um, would you know what? Can I roll culture to see if Lyco would find the amount of time suspicious, or it depends, right? Does Lyco think ten minutes in a spaceport for anyone who's at least five hundred years out of date suspicious, or would? Not suspicious, even necessarily. Uh, I, I should say when I say suspicious, I maybe mean suspect. Be a better way to put like, it. Like you could like, go in and book transport in ten minutes easily. Yeah. yeah. Like, so long as there was no queues, right? I think. I think. Yeah. Okay. So I was. I was really trying to gather. Like, would he be thinking, "Oh Christ, has she got lost or something like that?" Would Would this be so long? But no, you're. You're. you're you know, it's. It's not an instantaneous process. She could reasonably take ten minutes. Seems to be what I'm getting. Roll culture anyway, um, and I'll see if I can give you this other piece of info. Yeah. Right. One sec. Let me just get that. There's something else again. that might might dot on you. Culture, culture, rolling it's not a the difficult culture check anyway. It's not my best roll. It's okay. It's not a difficult check anyway. The uh, thing that might dot on you is that you maybe just book it through your com in advance. Yeah, that's a good point. And I imagine you, a lot of people do. And you could just book it on a terminal inside, like one of the public access terminals. 
Instead yeah, of so <laughs> what I would probably be thinking then is that most of the people who actually go in and do it like that are probably people who are having some sort of payment issue, mm -hmm. or have a complaint, or have some special need that they need taken care of. And it's probably um, a bunch of VIs that run like the customer service in here, right? Um, like, <laughs> so, that's a good point. Yeah, like who she's went in to speak to, obviously, because keep in mind, if she wanted transport, she would tell one of her servants they would go mm -hmm. and arrange a ship, probably, and then obviously the carriage to the ship, right? Um, but I mean, she was confident, so yeah, and as I said, 10 minutes pass regardless. Um, uh, maybe it's about closer to 15 now, because it would have been 10 minutes that gave you 5 minutes to wander around the sides of the building, spot these guys. Now it's probably been about 15 minutes, um, so an extra 5 minutes since you've been with everybody, and maybe those, these thoughts dawn on you. It's, uh, seems kind of a while, I mean, she, uh, she is, she's a little, you know. I don't think she's entirely up in the, the the current travel situation, you know. It's it's I'm just a little concerned she might have got in a way late or confused or you know. I I I uh I think I will take a little uh look inside and see how she's doing. I would not. It's maybe a good idea. Given that she didn't know what a pilot was, that would be wise. <laughs> I think this has maybe news to like or that particular piece yeah, of information. Yeah, a, a momentary blank look. And then... Okay. Um, I'll, uh, I'll be back shortly. And uh, then I would turn and go in towards the earth. Yeah, so you head inside. Um, oh, sorry. I'm doing good. <laughs> give me a oh, give me a wee perception check. Certainly. Perception. Oh, wee. Not the best rules tonight. Cool. And it's a. Uh, you wander in. You go past the kind of the main kind of foyer of the, I guess, starport. Mostly, it's like a waiting area where people can just like, again, fall enough wait. I. Uh, Amazing. Very multicultural, etc. And you head past that, you look around, nobody looks specifically Drow Regal. And then, uh, yeah, you wander, wander deeper a bit into the kind of more, you know, the part where you would like actually question which, I don't want to say airline, but like what company you're willing to travel with, essentially. Uh, and you can head over to those kind of terminals and then. As you head in, so maybe about five minutes of walking inside the building, mm. and then you spot there's a big crowd. Okay, um, I don't know it's anything but anyone in particular in the crowd. Paramedics. Oh Christ! Oh Christ! Um, I will try and approach without being too noticeable because I am kind of a distinctive looking individual. Mm -hmm. Uh, Luckily, of all the places to try and blend in, though, this is like the most culture bomby place, right? So, because it's yeah, a, it's like, a there's probably home. nowhere else in this city that would be as easy to. Mm -hmm. um, do you want me to roll anything, or can I just be? If a you want to be, if you want to be that, let's see how well you are. Mm -hmm. Like, not, not being noticed. Do you want to give me a wee, a wee deception roll? Deception. I mean, or disguise. It's... Well. I don't actually have deception, do I? What is the? Bluff, like bluff disguise, and stealth. Uh, it's probably stealth, right? Stealth, yeah. Because they're trying to be like less noticeable. So yeah. Yeah, rather than being mm -hmm. uh, being seen as someone else, or you know, telling someone something. Yeah, true, so I'm what, just trying to avoid being noticed. So what's the plan, right? So you've already you've, you've done your thing where you try and avoid well, being I, noticed. You know, scope, scoping the angles and approach to get the best view of whatever is. Whatever is unfolding in this crowd involving paramedics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, if you want to push through a bit to try and get a, a view of what's in the middle, you can do so, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you kind of push through and uh, 
paramedics like maybe it's quite right because paramedics attended as soon as you uh, spotted the crowd they've pushed their yeah. way into the center as well and I mean you recognize the drug queen like crouched over some random person that's on the ground okay. uh, they look this human for the most part um, and like she looks like she's comforting said person mm -hmm. that's on the ground KO'd uh, and then the paramedics have turned up and then she like stands up and like takes a step back after speaking to them for a couple of minutes so she's oh, just kind of standing in the center uh, uh, where obviously the crowd have kind of like maybe started to move on a bit I'll, I'll uh, casually and gradually approach her yeah do you say anything Get her uh, not anyway. initially. I, initially, I would just sort of approach in relative silence. Like I, I'd probably give the impression of someone who's just going over to get a better view at first. Cool. So I, uh, I think um, once you like maybe approach and just kind of stand in that kind of couple of feet, just away from her, staring in the same direction, kind of thing, as the crowd slowly parts and you're yeah. there. Um, she says, "Lyco, you've rejoined us." Uh, yes, I, um... She says that without turning, she's still kind of staring at the man on the ground, as the paramedics are attending. I couldn't help but notice... the crowd, is there... has there been some sort of incident? She looks up at you and she says... It seems well in hand, wouldn't you agree? These gentlemen uh. seem to be... attending. I, uh, yeah, I noticed that, but I don't, uh, don't know the, the circumstances. I, I, I saw you speaking with them. Do you want to know the circumstances? I feel it would probably be helpful. She kind of, like, narrows her eyes slightly. She goes, Helpful. To what end? <sighs> that very much depends on what the circumstances were. So, it would only be helpful to hear if you hear it to decide if it was helpful. No, I, I, uh, I mean in as much as I can't necessarily say what it would be in aid of without knowing exactly what's happened. If if you were to tell me, for instance, that he was uh, struck suddenly with illness, then that probably wouldn't tell us much of anything at all. But if, alternatively, he was uh, shot by a rampaging, uh, I don't know, swarm-infested something or other, then that would probably be information that we should take on board. I would agree. It doesn't seem to be either of those, though, does it? The gentleman collapsed. Luckily, I was nearby at the time. I see. And then this crowd gathered without rendering assistance, I might add. Now these fine gentlemen have attended this man's pol like plight. Then that is reassuring that and like, You can see like the guys in the background obviously like putting this guy onto like a stretcher. Um, and they're like obviously it's a hover stretcher because sci-fi future. And then yeah. like one of them starts to like move him away. Um, <clears throat> there's maybe like sirens in the distance, and you guys probably there's like a an ambulance kind of hover car thing just appeared at one of the entrances. And uh, he's obviously like shimming towards that way. Um, and one of the other paramedic dudes come up to the queen, and he says, "Thank you again for." Obviously, your assistance. Um, 
Obviously, please give your contact details to the security of the, the starport. And then she just nods kind of graciously, like holds his hand and puts her hand over his other hand, if that makes sense. And then, yeah, uh, you know, graciously shakes it and then he like runs off to like follow up his mate with the hover stretcher. And then they go away. And she just turns to you and she says, We have transport, by the way. Please inform the others. I will do. Uh, certainly. Shall I meet you back here, or...? And she thinks about location? it, and she looks around, like the building, and she says, Yes, meet me back here. This seems to be the most efficient place to start. Um, it probably looked mildly curious for a second, then I just nod and uh, scuttle off. And she just like clasps her hand behind her back and just stands tall. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you guys, there's like an ambulance essentially outside, um, blaring its siren, and then a man gets wheeled out. I say wheeled, hovered out, I guess, uh, and into the back of the ambulance, and then. Off it flies. I would kind of roll my eyes. They scream. And then it went. And I think. Please don't tell me that was a question. <laughs> it would seem an odd coincidence. I have still high closure his face. Please don't tell me it was the queen. Uh, in the. I think we'll just call it an ambulance. In the ambulance? No. Please don't tell me she was the cause of the ambulance. I was momentarily concerned about that, but uh, no, it seems she assisted with an ill man. It was a little concerning seeing a crowd around her. I, I, I was... There was a slight worry that she might say something which would seem insane to them, but... Oh my... She didn't. She didn't. As far as, far as I can tell, everything went very smoothly. Sorry, do you want um, to make a difficulty one culture check for me? Uh, sure. <laughs> Difficult you want. <laughs> I think I think you might pass this one. Oh, oh man, I mean <laughs> that confidence there, man, that confidence. Oh I don't know man. Don't know it's it. just something that would immediately go to oh. your head. Right? So wow. sure. the rolls haven't been great, have they? Um so, very no, very no. low ball numbers. But anyway, so thing that comes straight to mind is um well, if you were trying to hide her publicly, that's gone. Because what would people do when shit like that happens with their smart tech, right? Upload yeah, it to their, it up. upload it to their uh, social media. So, I think she's now about to have a better PR when she right? goes for Queenage. And the reason why, <laughs> like, given your celebrityness, yeah, 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 it's something that springs to mind straight away. Is that if there was a crowd around her, she does tend to stand out a tiny bit because there's not a lot of dark elves that like wander the lands in general. Um, but at the same time, she looks as she looks, you know, acts yes. as she acts, yes. Out loud, then I would just snigger to myself. Uh, well, I would snigger and then see good move, I suppose. Then. Yeah. Captain? Mm. Nothing. Uh, anyway, she uh, she she indicated to meet her inside. I would nod. Then I would kind of put a safe on my back so it's less fucking menacing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wondering with a safe in his back is going to be absolutely fine. I mean, it's better than me walking in with fucking in my horns, right? Like, <laughs> and Lyco walked in with a pistol at least, right? So I mean, yeah, but I didn't have that like I've raised. still got to assume that armed men are still relatively common. It's just not I don't know why I'd be as aggressive looking. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, try and mitigate it. Um, yeah, Spaceport I think probably sees a lot of armed people. I like to believe that like uh, Quentin Tarantino designed the uh, carry arms laws of this universe because uh, like in everybody's favourite movie, Kill Bill, you know, the fact that you've got spaces in your plane 
on the armrest for your katana. You know, <laughs> fantastic. Watch Once Upon a Time in Hollywood the other week. I've really enjoyed it. Anyway, I've still to see that. But yeah, anyway, as we were saying, so a lot of Marco Robbie's feet in it. You also oh, Zora like that. I guess you've made the assumption that the Queen's attained transport then. Um, <laughs> and you, didn't you see? Yeah, I mean, I, I as much, right? She was inside. Mostly, she wasn't to blame for this guy collapsing, is what he said. To be I, honest. I, 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 oh, I'm pretty sure. And then they the, the Queen's inside, so let's meet her inside. I don't remember if he actually I said uh, he transport. I may not have done, but I, 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 I think I assumed that he did. I hmm? thought I, I just assumed that he did. To be honest. But yeah. Um, so. But yeah. Any objection yes. to following inside? I guess is my question for everybody. No, no. Good, good. Yeah. So you head inside. It's not hard to spot her after the the five minutes or whatever journey. Yeah. Inside. Let's face it. Um, she does tend to stand out. Um, yeah, likely you probably notice there's a couple of people like staring at her, um, like younger groups of uh, travelers, as it were, and mm. you can obviously tell that they were clearly aware of everything that happened, and maybe a couple of them were snapping shots over. This would be a a good time to. Uh... Maybe use some of your uh, diplomatic instincts. She looks like she is the beginning of a. I, I like, sorry, I, just, I like the idea of like we're just catching up with him, <laughs> not quite realizing how far ahead he was in this. She looks like she is the beginning of a PR campaign going. Just like oh, again, so exactly. Now you're seeing it. <laughs> Uh, what I would advise, I uh, think it would be a good idea for us to keep a little distance from her. Uh, they saw me speak to her already, so I'll approach her. You follow us at a distance, and that way, people don't necessarily immediately put two and two together, what with you being quite recognizable yourself. Good not. Smart. Plus, I mean, people might not know who Weird is, but they're not—they're not gonna forget him after they saw him. He's gonna—he's gonna make an impression. <laughs> I just like the coy. Thank you. You gave him that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I will—I um, will approach the queen once more. Yeah, and uh, she obviously turns and regards you. Your Majesty, we are ready to go. I've advised the group to keep a slight bit of distance so as to keep a low profile. We are trying to avoid our whereabouts becoming too widely known, and uh, it's clear that people have already begun to take notice of you. He says, with a bit of a smile. She's smirking as soon as you say that anyway, and she says, yes, I am very noticeable. Uh, he nods. Um, she's casted a charm spare. <laughs> and then probably she says, has, uh, probably has. I was unaware we were trying to keep our moves clandestine. Only to a degree. Uh, it's difficult for someone with, with my uh, condition to be unnoticed lot but if we can uh, if we can stop too many people immediately connecting the group together then I think that would be advantageous uh, yes and rolling the giant golden egg will also be difficult to hide it, what? <laughs> <laughs> she just tilts her head it's like she said it the most like, <laughs> plainly possible <laughs> I uh Golden eggs up in the house. I try not to think about the egg. Wish we had the bag of holding <laughs> thing that uh, the, the thing that we have uh, seen next. We had this. Wish that was empty. Just stuff it sort in of gesture to her and like you know you know I give her the, the, the universally understood shall we then gesture and uh, 
say yeah. uh, the two hands like sweeping towards a direction. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, after you. Yeah. So if you would like to tell the others to follow suit, I will lead the way. They will. And then she, uh, she just like marches off. And I uh, will immediately follow. Yep. Everybody else follow on. I get Zig rolling uh, the egg and such. I'm assuming somebody's helping Zig with the egg the whole time. I'd be helping him. Mm -hmm. I'd be helping him. I'd be just trailing behind, obviously. Like, like, trailing what is the most noticeable? The fucking war hero of the packed worlds mm -hmm. and a space rat rolling a giant gold egg when people are already a bit on the lookout for stuff, you know? It's my child. This is how Vesca born. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the nanny. <laughs> I wonder if Zig, the child, the was the egg the nanny. nanny. Wait, <laughs> the nanny wasn't Arnie. Who was the nanny? Was that Hogan? Um, Hogan. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, so sorry about those people at home with you, like headsets and earphones in. Um, but yes, so you follow on. You follow on. Um, there is probably a lot of looks, quite frankly, and people taking the equivalent of uh, snapshots of you as you go through this place, uh, Zora. Because, yeah, you're kind of hard to hide uh, um, with a big gold egg. Uh, <laughs> you're literally rolling through an airport, essentially. Egg. People have a lot uh, of things to do, like wait on their transport, so they're all looking. You might know what? I might need some PR as well. Give me a wee wave. And then just leave. Quickly. <laughs> swiftly. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody likes the waving dinosaur, right? I mean, <laughs> what do you know, like... I can't remember the waving dinosaur. <laughs> exactly. Do you remember? No. Barney? Exactly. Like... <laughs> no, I have no idea. I just thought I'd agree. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, like you get to like one of the, the hangars essentially like down the kind of deeper part of the, the privatised spaceport um, this is where all the like personal transports are kept um, so all the company transports are at like the far side you're at the like if you were leasing like a shuttle bay this is where you would park so to speak um, so you just get there He's are outside one of the big hangar doors, and the queen just kind of waits for you all because it's a bit quieter here. This is obviously the only people that can afford to rent or buy actual like storage here. Obviously, there's the noise of engines and whatnot of spaceships taking off and landing and shit around you as well. But for the most part, these are relatively secluded. Maybe the occasional like kind of back scenes working staff and whatnot. Oh, you just finish rolling the egg up to the doors, and then the oh, the queen like waits for you to kind of like regard her, and then she says to Zora, "You did not mention that you wished to keep this clandestine. I would have changed my approach, had I been made aware of this." Um, it's more like we weren't expecting you to go. Quite as noticed so soon. I felt like it might be a good idea to uh, maybe not link you to the Vesk in the public eye. Will this cause us problems, do you think? Mm. In the coming times it might. The Vesk are trying stuff right now and the people might That's not. To be honest, Kevin, on. the... Uh... They don't generally have the uh, most positive profile in the packed worlds. Regardless of the current piece, the war most is them. very recent history. Yeah. Most of my people that, <clears throat> well, don't live in a Viscarium are mostly just mercenaries in these lands. They don't really, yeah, not the most reputable people. I see. Shall we? She kind of motions to the door behind her. The big huge hanger. Not. She walks over to like the kind of control panel and just starts tapping on the control panel. And then you just hear a chunk and the door like starts to open. The hangar door slides back. And yeah, there's like... It's obviously not a long 
like a like a distant shuttle, if that makes sense. But it's it's a uh, kind of like see like the shuttle for the fine lower that you've got the landing craft. It's like a landing craft essentially, um, where this would go up to another ship in orbit, and then the ship in orbit would take you somewhere else. It's like that at first glance. Mm. So essentially, like as long as it gets us where we need to be. And she says, I assume this will be sufficient. Does it have a jump drive? No, this will take us to a vessel with a jump drive. Then that will be sufficient. And she kind of just smirks. She says, I'm glad to see you all so pleased. She just says dryly, then starts walking towards the, the shuttlecraft. Sorry, I've doubt it. I, uh... Confess I am... Uh, surprised how quickly she's taken to this all. Hmm, uh, quite. Yeah, because you've never seen her work with anything sophisticated before. And that was obviously Maybe, the control uh, panel on the wall. It should just, like, operate it without hesitation. Maybe she took in more of her captivity than we realized. She certainly didn't seem to be abreast of uh, political and cultural events, but maybe technology is not so completely alien to her. She clearly hasn't had a lot of it explained to her, but uh, well, she was kind of out in the open. She might have she might have seen more than we realize. And yeah, like, the, the, the shuttle door starts to open, and uh, she opens like the back end of the shuttle, so the egg can be rolled on as well. Um, I very swiftly move into the shuttle. <laughs> <laughs> the egg is other people's business. <laughs> fucking egg. <laughs> that fucking egg. Yeah, and like, well, this looks like it's pretty swanky, to be honest. It's clearly privately owned, right? Um, and it's like it is the equivalent of like what's beyond first class elite class or some shit like that right so sorry people five to six double first yeah so yeah I uh, snoop around yeah what are you looking for anything I mean there's a mini bar uh, no I, dr I mean I've got I've got little French beer here, 4% alcohol, very small. Um, but I don't think Lyke was too fussed about that at the moment. <laughs> uh, I don't know, he, he would... Uh, he he may note it, but, uh, you know, he's, he's not he's not the biggest guy. Well, that may not be, may not be necessary. But, yeah, he'll, he'll have a, a sort of general look around and acclimatise him to himself, himself to it, because... He does tend to like to get a feel of a place. Mm -hmm. and so it's sort of, you know, how once he's had a quick look around a couple of times and he's quite satisfied that nothing stands out as especially suspicious. Not because he's suspicious of her, but because he's just generally suspicious of people and who knows who's renting this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly, yeah. I mean, again, it's hard to describe. It's just the equivalent of having like a private jet, right? Like that's like the equivalent, I guess. Cool. Um, cool. He's probably quite satisfied that nothing seems out of order. Then and nothing comes, you know, if nothing, if nothing jumps out at him. He's not going to dig too deep because ultimately he's probably going to just get on it anyway. Mm -hmm. Not, it's not likely to be such a problem that he's. I'm back. Welcome back. Yeah. So yeah, that's. So yeah, um, who's. I assume obviously Zora's loading on the egg. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Good, good. So yeah, you load on the egg. Um, again, it's as I was describing to Lyco and Weird, it is the equivalent of being in like a private jet, right? Mm -hmm. That's it had the luxury part. It was like a quite luxurious, what you'd yeah. expect. That is the equivalent, at least, of this. So... Yeah, you get the egg strapped in to its own, I guess, big leather chair. Um, it's probably strapped between two chairs to kind of jam it in, to be honest. And yeah, it's going to jump in, I guess. Cool. 
I mean, the queen just kind of stands there. Uh, Amos? Yes, you will need a pilot. Oh, no. Uh. Oh, eh, uh, I no. thought someone would have been... Mm. thought the owner would have been taking us. Do you just... Oh, you... Do you just stare blankly back at that? Oh <laughs> you, 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 would, <laughs> you wouldn't <laughs> want someone else to be the captain, would you? Um... <laughs> uh... We have a, a capable pilot among us. Could not. Zig? Zig's probably hugging the egg just now, narratively excused. Yeah. <laughs> <Yep. laughs> Zig excuses himself narratively. God damn it, Zig. Uh... He's fallen asleep in an air vent. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I think that's his average. Yes, pilot. Uh... Well... Do you wish me to also get you a pilot? Right, out of character, obviously. Who among <laughs> us is the best pilot? I imagine myself. I, I think Probably. I imagine that you also, my piloting is eight. Well, it's plus eight, so it's two. It's kind of also a co-pilot cool at the same time, right? So... I've got nice. nine. Does that mean offering help? I've got two. No, I just meant because he has four arms. <laughs> uh, Do you still have two four. brains as well? Uh, no. Okay. Pilot died, yeah. right? That, that's pretty, that's pretty, that, that's... All right. Um, and I can assist if possible. You know, I can, I, I can assist, I'm helpful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As your yeah. assistance, don't push that. That's probably the wrong thing. That's made a beeping noise since you've turned it on. Drive the car, right? Yeah. A car that like goes up into space. Just like driving space. a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> Vroom. So, uh... Yeah. I imagine the conversation is happening in front and Nix is in the back playing with his armour and sort of looks up and goes I can fly it. He can fly it. He can fly it. The Queen just takes a seat. <laughs> uh, this will be interesting for you. Presumably. Hopefully. Uh... I imagine I have to take off the power hole before sitting in the pilot seat. Yeah. <laughs> like, even getting in was probably a squeeze, to be honest. Yeah. Since you count as a large creature, but the egg fit, so you fit, so that's fine. Yep. So I leave the power armor next to the egg. Yeah. The uh, rock up to the front. Mm -hmm. With my cloak and kilt. Of course, yep. <clears throat> uh, there is a wardrobe on here if you wanted to look for, like, clothes. No, not yet. Okay. No. Um. Do any keys for this? Uh, do I roll computers first, or piloting? <laughs> I'll let you pick either one. Computers? I wonder what I'll pick. Mm -hmm. Holy shit, that was bad. Yep, this is the session of rolling low, apparently. Um. Yeah, it does seem to be like locked out. The controls that is. Like any good uh, set of controls, obviously. Yep. Do you have the access codes? Do you say that back to the queen? Yep. She's like swinging like side to side on the chair. Obviously gripping like the arms, just testing out what any self respecting person would do when they're sat in a private jet, you know? Mm -hmm. Um I'm just kind of like feeling the what what could be construed as leather for the seating, and then she says, "Excuse me." Well, I need access to steer this vessel. And she like gets up and walks through to the kind of cockpit area, and she says, "Yes," and she leans forward and just starts tapping into the computer the code that unlocks everything. Where did you get the code from? 
Or do you want to starve vessel? As you put it. <laughs> she looks between the two of you. She doesn't say anything. She just oh, looks between the two. She look I would, I would, oh, I roll and I would say you're a queen. Like... Yes, that is true. Or at least I was a queen. I will spin back to the console. Yep. And pull up owner details. <laughs> yeah, so it's a, some random businessman from Castroville. Oh, mm -hmm. fuck. <laughs> of course. Uh... You ready for some... going all right through here? I lean in. I've, I've disassembled my gun by this point and I'm polishing it as I walk. Uh, Lyco, remind me what the steward's uh, views are on piloting a vessel that you don't own without permission or awareness of the owner. Uh... The queen just like pivots and looks at you for the answer, blankly. That. Depends if they have particular reason to care. Um, Who's the public owner? Emergency. So, uh, I, I point over at the monitor as I boot up the engines. Um, I've got pretty good eyesight. I, I, I can see. Uh, <laughs> let, let me have a let me have a quick look into him. And I, know I will retreat to what I have presumably already designated as my temporary compartment or something. <laughs> yeah. It's literally, it's just like a... It's most like, if you imagine, essentially, maybe three rooms, really, that you've got access to. The main body in the middle, um, where the egg is strapped at the back of it, which is just a bunch of like big fancy leather seats and such and tables. Uh, at the back, there's like a private cabin, which presumably contains a bed. At the front, there's the cockpit area. And then... Obviously, engine parts would be hidden behind all the gloss, you know. Yeah, so I'll uh, so I'll go to the bedroom. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, back into uh, the bedroom. Well, I'm still in an atmosphere. I will use their network to look into the the, the business. Yeah. Um, give me a computer check, I guess. It would be. There's no investigation in this, is there? So yeah. Boom. Yeah. So what would you like to know? Uh, what he looks like, what kind of business he's involved in. He looks weirdly familiar. Do you know that? Uh -huh. <laughs> weirdly familiar. Uh, like someone I saw recently? Lying yeah, down? yeah, almost um, identical. Does he have any contacts that should be concerning to me? Uh, do you want to narrow that question down a little? Is he involved in anything to do with Aspis or, you know, uh, Abadar Corp? Except in, like, I know, I'm, I imagine there are a lot of people who are tangentially involved in some companies that are tangentially involved in one of them and don't even know that they are. But is there any connection to them large enough to warrant concern? So, there, uh, most people that are of a certain wealth category have an account with Abadar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would make sense. Yes. It is, a fence, it is an expensive bank to have. Uh, it's only recently, to be honest, people have been able to get like account only access online, like digital money transferring and shit like that. So, yeah, this guy seemed to be involved in a uh, banking anyway, in some in some fashion that you can see. So the guy is obviously he makes money by making other people money. Right. Yeah. Making sure people move their money to the right places, making sure that if they it's want an to invest... investment banker. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, and I don't see anything that would immediately alarm me here, do I? I he's been admitted to hospital. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's uh, that's it. That's the only what, update on Any that. information on what he's been admitted over? Uh, you'd need to hack the record for that. That seems like an unnecessary risk. Yeah, I was going to say, you can definitely try it, but that is the... The computer rule, even though it was a crit, would have been to browse his name. If you want to push further, you can. With yeah. a check, but it's on you um, if you want to. Yeah. I will leave it there for now. Mm-hmm. Because uh, Lyco has 
pretty pretty much determined what he thinks is, is happening here and I don't, I don't think he feels like he needs any additional information in this particular mystery um they said what a dry was still the same 500 years ago <laughs> <laughs> You say any character? Or? Oh, dude, I don't know. It's <laughs> like no, 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 no. I'm just, I'm saying it's um. like just. <laughs> I um. <laughs> I make a mental note to discuss this later with the crew at the very least. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you don't see any connections to Aspis. Um. Uh, I return. And I see. I don't know that he's someone we particularly need to worry about. Let's um. Let's try and see that the vehicle gets back to him. After all, we'll only need it briefly. I have to defer to your expertise of all legal matters. And with that, we take off. <laughs> I think at that, like the <clears throat> the queen turns and she says to Lyco, like, "Are you a law speaker?" Um, I can only guess as to what that term means, but uh, no, I'm I'm uh, I was. She looks confused, and you say like, "You can only guess what the term means." Um, she has some inner monologue thoughts that we don't get subtitles for, and then, yeah, you say you were. I was a uh, enforcer of sorts. Ah, of a law keeper. I think that might be the the more appropriate comparison. We're called we they are called the stewards uh, in this era, and, and the law do keepers. you serve? I served the Pact Worlds. Uh, served, I, yeah, because I, I am officially retired. Although I still remain on their books for uh, unofficial business. She just looks like she, you've lost her a little. I, uh, yeah, and I, I, I'll catch that and I'll say, uh, the, the situation in the worlds of this system at the moment is fraught, especially in recent days and weeks, but generally it, it is pretty strained, it's difficult, and the law needs to be careful, uh, because sometimes... Sometimes a more discreet approach is required so as not to risk. There, there, there is a, a strain between enforcing the laws of the pack roads and damaging the foundations of them because these laws work because we agree to them, because the worlds agree, cooperate, and uh, we have to be careful with how we move, and I have a little bit more freedom as a retired officer uh, who can be paid occasionally for consultancy or for assistance as a bounty hunter. I'm not one of them. I'm not really bound by their codes, and there's... So you're a mercenary? Of sort. After a fashion, yeah. I'm sure you understand that uh, rulers and ruling bodies have a, a need for discretion and uh, we call it plausible deniability they <sighs> the the major forces that are, that are at work in this this system governments criminal empires religious sects most of them aren't idiots or at least most of them are largely not run by people who are idiots they know that the stewards try their damnness to act whenever possible. But they also know that the stewards can't be seen to act too directly when they can't absolutely prove what they need to prove to legitimize it. 
they can't risk making a move against a certain government official if they can't prove that government official is guilty, which means that they probably can't gather the evidence to prove that that it's it's a vicious cycle. Uh, people like me let them progress cases like that that uh, might otherwise not be able to be progressed. It just dead ends, then. That's not a bad way of looking at it. Yeah. You seem uniquely qualified for that role. <laughs> uh... <sighs> I, I don't know whether to take that as a compliment or a pun or both. Take it as you wish. And then she like walks past you and uh, sits in one of the comfier seats. <laughs> I, will, I will leave her to that and uh, give her a cart nod and, and walk back and continue footing about with my guns and gear and just sort of um, making myself Maybe maybe I was trying to make myself look a bit more civilian because I was meeting up with people. Mm -hmm. But maybe I, I sort of get a bit more comfortable and don't obs don't obscure some sigils or what have you, or you know. Um, yeah. Don't, uh, maybe I've even like throw off like a shirt or something like that. Get out of the streetwear, as it were. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I put a picture in our general chat just as a rough guide to what this thing looks like for you. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's good enough, quite frankly. Quite Star Warsy, actually. Yeah, it's just exactly kind of what I described. Entrance in the back, a sitting here in the Party in the front. Yeah, cockpit. Yeah, good enough. Um, so, I think we maybe need some piloting checks done now. Yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah, boy. Twenty. It's your boy. Well, weird. Fuck. Okay, and... Cool. So, you... Like, where, where are you setting it to go? Um, so far I'm just kind of getting out of the city and heading up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then um, there's a um, traffic yeah. corridor assigned to the... Uh, the actual shuttle itself. Mm -hmm. um, that obviously comes up after you start to, like... Once you clear the hangar, you run. And you start to like see the surrounding starport and then the surrounding city as well. You see that yep. there is like the kind of three D hollow map that comes up that gives you the the guiding lines to like just start heading up your corridor up to space. So yeah, upon the ascent, then what's everybody else doing? God, I'm assuming you've taken your seats in the seating areas and whatnot securely, of course. <coughs> But of yeah. course, you're yeah. professionals. Mm -hmm. Professionally sitting. Yeah. Uh, does, does any conversation get struck up at that point? I don't think so, that, but I think he's probably just probably relaxing, basking in the glow of the, the egg. Mm. It's probably blowing in my face right now. Yeah, as I said, it'll be strapped in somewhere, so yeah, you can be sat next to the egg if you want. Probably Zig's probably also sat next to the egg, quite frankly. Did you say there was a mini bar? Yes. Yeah, and thought I'd know mental 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 no, it was a mini bar. I probably cracked open like a, a cold one or something. And I think as soon as you go over to that, I the queen. I'll will put on up. gloves before I do it. The queen will get up and <laughs> head over. <laughs> Just because he's that paranoid, he doesn't want to leave fingerprints. And then she. Uh, you can see her like just pick up random bottles and pull the like kind of caps off them and sniff at them, and puts the cap on them and just kind of like sits them back down, not in any particular order or anything. She's not like putting them back carefully where they were. Maybe that's what you were doing uh, yeah. as you're there, like slowly yeah, oh, putting yeah, them back. Are you wiping um, off her prints or are you leaving them? I you know I probably will <laughs> when she's not there. Um, I, I might and you know what I might just do it in front of her. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and as as I do that, I say you know. Most of these are alcohol. I, I recall you were looking for some. And she kind of like looks at you, or like raises an eyebrow ever so slightly, like as she kind of side eyes you a little bit as she's sniffing a bottle. And then she cock 
quirks that as well. Sits it down. Kind of still staring with one eye at you. Leans down, picks up the last bottle, sniffs at it, and smirks. And then just starts drinking. From the big glass decanter thing. Of course. She is regal. Mm -hmm. It's the decanters for her. <laughs> and then, uh, well, they're all the alcohol here is in decanters, and it's on the display at least. Um, all right. And then, uh, is there, are there any any space oh, yeah. for your cans? Oh yeah, you could use it into the fridge base. Oh, yeah. You know. Um, but yeah, the the queen then finishes kind of drinking, and she kind of turns to you and she says, "Wine is what I was looking for." Hmm. She kind of like wipes her her lips with her hand, and then puts the decanter kind of lid back onto it, cork thing. And just sits it back on the, the table and she says, Untold time without a drink. Can you even imagine? Not really. He actually, uh, are you, he'll say that like after a beat in a, in a manner that gives you the impression he really is considering it. Mm hmm. And then uh, she walks towards the cockpit again. Uh, so yeah, the queen kind of like heads into the cockpit, and then kind of just stands near you. Weird. Uh, she doesn't say anything though. She waits to see if you acknowledge her. I assist you. Once we have broken orbit, do you know where you're going? I assume that this ship is linked to a ship in orbit. Yes, that is my understanding also. I'll punch that into the system and check. Yeah, do you want to check that? Yep. Yeah, it does, doesn't necessarily need a roll or anything. You can just like bring that up. She's unlocked the whole computer anyway for you. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you bring it up, and it is like, like it's essentially just a a massive pleasure yacht. Is there um, a list of anyone else on board? It. Uh, no. Okay. The thing mostly just like it's got a an orbit it maintains legally. Mm -hmm. Um. But it's. It, I mean, if you pull up the travel logs for it, the thing has, like, just circled the planet. Really. Anytime it's been flown anywhere, it's around the planet. So, no. It's probably literally just someone's pleasure yacht. I'll get some attention. Yeah. Uh, anyway. That's where we're going. So you can program, obviously, that's where... Uh, your place yep. to sync up to on the machine, and yeah, that means the place will start like the the ship you're on will start autopiloting itself there. Mm -hmm. You're ready. Yeah, that doesn't take much either. You can do all that. That's that's easy. Mostly the computer will do the work for you. Mm. Uh, okay. Yeah. And she just says, "Is there anything else you require to complete this journey?" This journey. Not particularly. You don't have to have a spare suit of armor. She kind of looks down at herself, and then she like runs her hand from your shoulder, like down the cape, and she says, "I think you got the best of me already." Well, I like extend my thanks again. Then. What was that, Nico? I'm forgetting he's got a super useful cape. Yeah, he's wearing her cloak as a cape, yeah. Yep. And then uh, you say you like to extend your thanks again. Mm hmm. She says. She kind of just looks you up and down in this kilt that you've fashioned. And uh, she's like. Think nothing of it. It is. at least. of some use. 
to you currently? She's like clearly being very slow about her word choice because she's not really sure if you actually need it because you never used it to cover up your agency <laughs> as it were. Um, but yeah. <laughs> she's very much a, like choosing her words awkwardly in that regard. Just so that she uh, doesn't sound like she wants it back if that makes sense. Yep. She's just been like yeah that's that's fine. Speak no more of it, please. <laughs> um, and then she says, Do you wish company here, or do you wish to be left unencumbered? Uh, I have no great preference. Sorry, I'm losing you. I said I have, I have no great preference. I was simply going to look through the ship's logs. It's a bit of a tedious task, but uh, we don't want any surprises. She kind of just smirks to herself a little, and then she says, I shall leave you to your task then. And she like does that thing where she rests her hand on your shoulder, she stands up and heads off mm. back towards the, the lounging area of the ship. I love how Lyca also said he was going to help you pilot and didn't. I, like, I do. Like yeah, that. I mean, I offered, but then I forgot. You found the mini well. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe like this is it when she was up talking to him. This is maybe when you cleaned all the bottles. Yeah, I, I have cleaned up that for myself pretty thoroughly. Mm -hmm. Um. What's Zora up to? Besides chilling next to the warm egg. Um. You just seen like at the mini bar drink a beer and then clean up all the bottles she's touched. So. Um. I don't know if it would be. Doing. Um, let me just like rummage about in his, his, his pouch for an energy bar. It's going to be one left over, man. It's going to be a fine mm -hmm. one. I mean, there's food to, food in this ship. I feel like he'd be like just that. that he would just whip out an energy bar. <laughs> I mean, so, do you have one in your inventory? Probably not. Then oh, I don't think you've got one, I'm afraid. <laughs> got rations. Got rations are plenty. And my inventory. Oh, yes, that has an energy bar. Uh, yeah. Sure. If they're on you and they're not in the ship, sure. I've always, always got rations. I used to have loads of rations in the ship as well. Mm -hmm. Ah, I've got a new one. The old smell, probably. There's food uh, on board, sir. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Just> there, uh, <laughs> yeah, actually, do uh, uh, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Think of, have a look at what the, the food is on offer in here. Yeah, it's what you'd expect from like mini bar food. Essentially, like packets of space nuts, you know, things like that. Um, party food, mostly. Um, stuff you can push buttons and cook in seconds, you know, like, like, like I guess finger food, you'd maybe call it. Oh, uh, that uh, definitely. I think so. I would just go with the other part then. <laughs> he's he's oh, made the right choice. Shovel a handful of space sausage rolls into my mouth. I got a couple of bags of nuts. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think you can easily do that. It's no worries at all. And uh, yeah, I, I I think I mostly just use this as a bit of downtime. I think he's uh, relaxing and enjoying the ride. Mm -hmm. And for the most part, yeah, it's going smoothly. It's maybe been about like however long it would take to break orbit, and then. Obviously, onward once you're in space, right? You're heading towards that, by the way. Weird. In the chat. I mean, I guess in my, my, my downtime, I will do this, you know, and. Uh, 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 and. Do you know what? Fuck it. Let's just, let's just do this as well, because why not? It's fun, right? Wait. 
Maybe one day it'll actually tell me something will happen and then I'll be like, oh shit, I can do something. Because I still don't know if I've got this ability. Let's just say um, I'm thinking deeply. <laughs> As you're munching on your energy bar. Uh, what was I saying? As you're munching on your energy bar, yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, so talk me through it. Uh. I mean, I mean, I guess that's all that goes since this is really... I guess I would just be thinking that I hope that, it's, that, that uh, Beard is, knows what he's doing, gets us to where we need to go, I guess. And just in the diplomacy side, is just... Uh, I would say, how would I even explain that one? I've never just this about it before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. It's a strange one. Maybe you're just Hopefully, I don't to... need to speak about talk my way out of this. <laughs> yeah, you're just trying to like tune into the ebb and flow of the universal uh, diplomacy waves, right? Yeah, that'll yeah, be... exactly. <laughs> the, diplo, the, the diplo waves. Yeah. yeah. Well known thing. Yeah, Macy Diplo. Yeah. And then. Um... Yeah, I guess you can just sit about it. Um, if you actually use it, though, you can spend your resolve point and then. I'll do the resolve point. I'll, I'll just do that. I'll agree. I'll put weird in the pile and hope it gets us to where we need to go. Like, it's probably not going to happen within half an hour, but fuck it. Maybe I'll actually get like a wee signal that I've actually got this ability, because sort of doesn't even know he's got this ability. Uh, as you do. Mm -hmm. So, and then make a roll, yeah? Yeah. Talk me through that. Uh, it's, it's like a... Like rain. Oh, no, I need to go to augury. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Three, four, eight. I think it was like a percentage Walker. chance. So, just can't remember what percentage chance. Three, four, eight. It's a free raid when you've already three, paid. Three, four, eight. <laughs> four, eight. Augury, augury. It's a good advice. Just Seventy-five percent. And then it's like the wheel, whoa, wheel, nothing, good, bad, so, so. Mm, good, bad, and ugly. Yeah, so what's your, what's your question to me? Uh, well, we'll get us where to a ship. And what are yeah, it's to where we need to go, which is essentially a ship. Because I know he does it to the pilot usually. So maybe he's a bit worried. Okay. Uh, roll piloting for me, weird. Yeah, yeah. Twenty again. <laughs> Strong and stable. <laughs> That's uh, strange and stale. The uh, my steady hand. The result is wheel, I guess. Oh, 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 oh! Well, that's surprisingly good feeling about this. Um, he will get, that. yeah. Mm. What was that? I've never felt that feeling before, eh? Oh. Optimism. <laughs> <laughs> Optimism. Uh, I love how you need a fucking mystical ability to give you optimism. It's merely like something else just told me. Yes. <laughs> you just don't fall you know, okay, you know. And I'm like, what the, who the fuck just said yes? Mm -hmm. like, like, who's that? Who's that? Yeah, it's cosmic, Tango. man. You're in touch with the universe, you know? It's like, uh, <laughs> Terrible. All terrible. <laughs> That's exactly what it sounded like to me anyway. Yes, so. Do you share this with anyone? Do you keep it to yourself? Do you... No, I probably, I'd probably keep it to myself for this one. I'd probably like it. Melt like a... Mm. Maybe something interesting to discuss with Seg. I've felt that in a while. Do you know well? 
Yeah, and maybe it does activate that kind of part of your brain that is like more aware of the universe, right? Maybe it is that like specific Solarian part that you've got built in. Um, Good time I have been trying recently, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Mysticism, mystical powers. But yeah, I guess you just wait till you're on board the bigger ship then. Yeah, yeah, I think we do. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean you've got full access to the computer in it. Uh, weird, sorry. So there, you're uh, mm -hmm. you're all sorted to get access Thanks. to the bigger ship. You can just dock with it. Punch it in. Yep. Should we? So, so yeah, dock with the big ship. And yeah, that's yours. Ah, sorted. dock big ship. Queen stands up and heads towards the exit of the shuttle. Is everybody else um, I would also do the same. I would start rolling that egg out. Slightly. I might have been an old egg, but actually. Yeah. And I'm going to say to Weird, very quietly, let me scope this place out before we go on board. That seems like a reasonable idea. Try not to... Uh... Well, you know, just try not to. Yeah, I'll try not to. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will walk to the others and uh, just say, let me have a quick check before we go on board. Just make sure everything's in order. No surprises waiting for us. You said it to the Queen? Uh, to both the Queen and the Captain. Okay, so because the Queen has pretty much left the shuttle. By the time you say that to the captain. Uh, okay. Uh, she probably, like... <laughs> I'd imagine she'll hear me saying that to the captain and just continue anyway. I just think by the time you've had the thought, like, she's, she was the first to... As soon as the shuttle landed and Weird was, like, locking everything down again, officially, like, uh, powering off the that. shuttle, she'd have left. I will say it to the captain, and then I will sort of, with a bit of a bounce in my step, try and catch up with the queen. Yeah, like, she's just a... Uh, Heading into the big, like the larger part of the, it's essentially the space you Yeah. Uh, if you. Oh no, sorry. I'll address her more formally. Yeah, uh, Your Majesty, uh, would you mind terribly if I took point in this? I wanted to just check the place out before we got too comfortable. It's a large vessel, you know. Of course. Allow me to override the security first, so that we are not impeded. Of course. Says nods his head, you know, firm agreement. Yeah, so you're in the kind of, like, <coughs> mini docking, like, bay. It's very, like, small. It's pretty much, literally, you can only see the exit of the shuttle at that point, because it, like, snugly fits in to the yacht. And, uh, she walks up to the the control panel that would have the access door towards the main ship. And she just starts tapping away into it. Now I approach the door and wait for it to open. Yeah, and I mean, mostly she reallocates command of the vessel to herself, quite frankly, so that it doesn't immediately attack everybody. Obviously any security measures or report the fact that it's being broken into or anything like that. Um, programs number of guests as well. Okay. And she says, after you, and the door wishes open. Uh, I will give another very quick nod and walk on in. Right, your nod's probably greeted by, like, so is the captain actually taking off the egg or are you leaving the egg on the shawl? Um, I think I've left on a shawl at that moment. Just so I didn't roll it out and they like a crowd of baddies, you know, could happen. Uh, you know? Maybe I'll leave Zig with it in the shuttle. Mm -hmm. I think Z Zig might even have volunteered to leave himself with it. Not to yeah. be retroactively taken as an insult, Zig. That's why I said that. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I will sort of range on ahead and just go up the place out. Um, do you want me any, any rules? Any mm -hmm. rules? Yeah, you probably do want to roll something to like yeah. investigate the ship, don't you? Uh, so, a couple of perceptions, yeah. maybe? And... 
Yeah, why well, don't you give me one a perception for the ship? Let's see how you do. There's no xenomorphs on this ship. Oh, that's a bad mess. There are no xenomorphs on the ship. Oh, that I know. <laughs> um, you could say that about any ship, Michael. <laughs> yeah, in this setting, to be fair, you could say that about any ship. Um, I will also, I think, um, if 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 you you're allow, maybe realizing maybe... the level of money this guy had as well. This guy was clearly worth a lot to just have this idling in orbit. Yeah, yeah, this is expensive business. I was thinking I might like um, what else have I got that could perhaps be relevant? <sighs> because obviously there isn't a fucking investigation skill, which is why the detective doesn't have that because it doesn't exist in this game for mad reasons. Um, Here, play so detective, I, uh, but don't ever investigate anything. Yeah, I would brilliant. like to roll culture to see if any of the objects that I see sort of has some scoping the place out stand out to me as sinister or unusual. You know, maybe if there's anything I notice is being associated with one of our enemies or something like that. Yeah, so roll that and roll perception again on that specific subject. Right? So okay, culture and perception. A culture and a perception. Jeez, it really is neat in the low rolls. So, what you notice is Maybe you go to like examine one of these things more closely. Um, it seems to be a projection. Mm. The object you're okay. looking at, like the ornament. Um, right, very. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that's weird. Right? Um, for whatever reason, it all seems to be... Uh, I think the best way I can put it with a 17 is Elveny artifacts that you're looking at and yeah, ornamental okay. designs and yeah like you know enough about you know different cultures in general to know that this was very elveny is the best way to put it that's maybe the way like i would put it as well but also i'm looking at it and seeing some of the stuff projections quite there's not there, there are no physical objects yeah. of elven design and the place like it's like it's been designed to give that impression, perhaps make the queen comfortable? Maybe yeah. she's done this? Could be, right? Um, I mean, her becoming a high-level programmer in the time you've known her is unlikely, but... Yeah. But yeah. But then, maybe it's got presets and she chose one, right. or something. Because mm -hmm. um, it is, after all, a pleasure bird. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe like a love hotel. Um. <laughs> I mean, very possibly, yeah. I mean, given that guy's nature, he's maybe met with clients a lot. Yeah, yeah, and you could try and sort of cater or pander even to their mm -hmm. needs. Yeah. Um, right. You might be onto something. Yeah. <laughs> um. So what kind of what what kind of rooms do we have other than like obviously the standard stuff? Is there anything else that's uh, daily noteworthy? Think of it like a like a luxury elite hotel with only so many rooms, right? Mm. Think of it like that. So there's yeah, it's there's small. like a, there's like a swimming pool and such and whatnot, and like it's yeah, like it is a large vessel. Um, well, you know, every everything in it is large, mm -hmm. but there's not much of it. Like you know, there's a few big yeah. rooms rather than many. Rooms. Yeah, like this is like for ten rich people, not for like a hundred mediocre people. If that makes sense. Um, <laughs> a ship this size should be able to house hundreds of people. Mm -hmm. But it's obviously not dead. It's, it's designed to have like ten people have a very wealthy Maximum lifestyle. Maximum comfort yeah. for them, though. Yeah. yeah. Um, Luxury plus cabins, you could say. <laughs> do I um? Do I see any evidence of habitation recently? Nope. Place is spotless. Okay. Uh um, Like clinically. What? Right. Do I see anything related to weaponry or anything like that? Nope. No. Nope. But then you wouldn't see anything like there's maybe like an elven sword on the wall. Yeah. Um maybe some bows and such. Um like a quiver here and there, do you know what I mean? But Yeah. Okay. Uh I think having satisfied what I'm gonna get out of those rules, I think that's probably him had his look round. Um mm. And I'll return and, and signal the all clear. 
uh, which I'll, I'll do in character, sorry. <laughs> so, sometimes it's so easy to just get, oh, yeah, I do uh -huh. that. And it's like, mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll do it then. Um, <clears throat> uh, thank you for bearing with me there. My, uh, my little search turned up nothing particularly unusual. I think the place is perfectly safe. A little strange. But perfectly safe. Yes, the ship's sensors also said we were quite alone. She kind of nods to you. I'll just, I'll just note back. I'm, <laughs> I'm not too troubled by the fact that, you know, obviously that may, may be taken to suggest that what I was doing was redundant, but... Yeah, but she was I'm happy to offended. let you do it regardless, do you know what I mean? She wasn't yeah. going to stop you. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I I, I would uh, sort of maybe move on, lean out, lean, lean out, and say to, you know, the the rest of the crew, we uh, look good to board. I would nod. Let's go. I'll go get the egg. I want to suit up. You suit up, yeah. Yep. Yeah, you can have done that while they were off investigating, I guess. Gallivanting. Mm -hmm. But yeah. And then he's going to head into the Duel? the larger <clears throat> ship itself instead of the Boat. Yeah, so these are on board the the yacht. I'm sure it has a name. <clears throat> I'm sure we've got a name for it. Let's, let me go see if I can find a name. But in the meantime, talk amongst yourselves in character, ideally. Well, um... The Azure Flare, that is 100% okay. its name. The one above it was the Grand Goblin, and I was really tempted to go for that, but... Yeah, the Dapper Lantern is awesome as well. I'll, uh... I'll continue to sort of scope it out a little bit, you know? Just a bit wary about the fakeness of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's almost, um... Cheap. In that regard, right? Yeah, like cheap and ta the sense of being tacky, almost like mm -hmm. having these fake projections of objects. Yeah, it did take you until you touched it though to notice. Mm -hmm. but I think once you well, noticed, it means it's like that the person yeah. who had it was more concerned with giving the impression of having the thing yeah. than actually having the thing. That or their collection's that big they couldn't possibly have it all on display at once and they've just taken pictures of it all. I mean, that's also, yeah, that right? could be a thing. I mean, you can make your assumptions based on this guy's wealth bracket. Um, yeah. If most of you told me you don't have Abadar accounts and the people you've met which are, you know, royalty for the most part, have had Abadar accounts, you can probably guess where this guy's wealth bracket was. Or is... You know? Mm -hmm. yeah. No, that's fair. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of a wealthy man. It's a bit of a fancy pants. Yeah, like, is there any reaction from the other crew members about the the fact that you're on a fairly expensive ship? Ah, I mean, it's a queen. Uh, I mean, she's yeah, a queen. Yeah. She's gonna go for. Yeah. Mm. I think, uh, well, actually. Sorry, continue. Is this the sort of ship that would have some sort of, you know, armory panic room? Eh, uh, I mean... You'd need to look into that, I guess, wouldn't you? Yeah. Just kind of want to scope it out. Also a wardrobe. <laughs> well, we're all sort of still at the, the entryway kind of area. I would, uh... I'd get your attention next. It's like, you know, it's... Weird. Weird, sorry. Um, <laughs> and uh, you know, gesture you over to one of the ornaments and, mm -hmm. uh, and just put my hand through it. Hologrammatic. Curious, right? Ostentatious. That's what I thought. Wealthy man owned this. He says, like, in a sort of knowing way, raises an eyebrow a bit. <laughs> and so then kind of leaves you to your... Well, no, if you're going to speak, it will let's just, just go ask out character, what's the woman? 
like. Oh, what's the ornament he's like putting his hand through? Uh, yeah, probably like a a V's, right? It was a classic. Yeah, so is it something recognisable? So I'm wondering if he's got like artifacts or antiques or something. Yeah, like I mean, it can be a V's. It could be like a, a random elven statue of something. Yeah, it can be. Yeah. Okay. Everything so, looks like decorative, or like a collector would collect it, right? Like it all does look like if you had to set up yeah. a room. Of an elven collection of something. That's what this place is full of. Um, I'm inclined to think the genuine somewhere, and that this is just his way of showing them. Maybe, but um, you know the thing that struck Otherwise, me. Otherwise, this is. Sorry. Sorry. No. Continue. No, I was good. Otherwise, this is really um, pretentious. <laughs> yeah, uh, the uh, the thing that struck me was the uh, the appearance of the objects was obviously what mattered here. Oh yes, yes, yes. I'm sure. Presumably, it's... this is a place where appearances are very important. A man owns a pleasure yacht. <laughs> yeah, that's a fair point. I imagine most people who own pleasure yachts are quite concerned with appearances. Yes. We haven't quite made it to that level. I say looking down at my own attire. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm not entirely convinced I particularly want a, a pleasure yacht. No? It's looks around it's not my scene it's certainly not tactically optimum it's also no. I don't know man it's it's just lifeless yes yes I like this conversation between both of you saying the word lifeless. I know. <laughs> it's, um, yeah. it's it's flat. Uh, I don't know. The whole place is so inauthentic. I like it. It's almost like that art gallery scene where two people are like framing the artwork, essentially mm -hmm. in the shot, and you are both just discussing it, staring at the vase, the fake vase. That's good. It's a good shot. Um, can I find, is there a control for the holograms? Yeah, there's like computer panels and stuff on the yeah. like interface panels and whatnot. See a bit like um, how sleek Baskerville was. Yeah. Same idea. Can I punch in, is it the same access code? Eh, yeah, well, when you go to the panel, it just says yeah. access denied. Oh. Like you've got access to some things, um, mm. like environmental controls to a degree. No pun intended. <laughs> Can I hack my way into this? From here, if you... You'd probably need to try and get into the... Yeah, if you rip a panel off the wall, why not? I mean, I've got my wireless hacking. Yeah, but it's... Um... You give it a go. Well, there's always a chance, right? But... There's always a chance. It's always a chance. It's always a chance. That's that's traditionally considered a good rule. Traditionally, yeah. It's not a bad rule, certainly. Give me a second. I'll get myself a difficulty. 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 A didgeridoo. Other words are available. It is a fail, but not by much. Um, as if it's a difficult roll, average party level is 8 times 1.5 plus 20. It's 32, right? So, yep. Yeah. But it does let you know that for whatever reason, all the access have been routed to. A, a new like a new source essentially 
Mm-hmm. So the code you probably used to start this would have been everything that the Queen used in the shuttle. Mm-hmm. But it seems like a lot of the endpoints have now been changed to a singular new source. So it's almost as if everything you've got has just been replaced. Somebody's changed all the passwords on you in that sense. Okay. Um, so like the route you would have taken no longer exists. Hmm. Yeah, so it's almost like trying to drive from A to B, but all the roads now go over to C instead. Yep. And you're like, well, I can't get over to, to B anymore. I'm sure that makes sense. So In a way. Like way more. Yeah. So do I think I can go find a proper mainframe? Uh, you probably could, yeah. Um, yeah. But, it's, I mean, you could always just ask somebody, considering it's likely you can guess who did all this. Mm, what is he inclined to ask her? Depends. Do you have access to this, Your Highness? She's probably like lounging on like a kind of horrible white leather sofa of some kind. Um, probably in amongst two weird elven trees, and uh, she leans like kind of sits up in the the couch you had. Excuse me? Can you grant us access to the system, please? Shouldn't you be piloting us to Akaton? Yes, I thought I'd acquaint myself with the ship first. Ship, allow access to designation weird. And then you just hear like a kind of boom noise in acknowledgement. <laughs> A bit like trying to get somebody's attention on the airplane, you know? You seem to have... (laughs) You seem to have grasped the system quite effectively. It's quite incredible what you pick up. Where did you pick this up? From the owner of this vessel. How did that happen? Is there some kind of implication in your line of questioning there, Weird? I suppose, yes. Would you like to state it more clearly? She stands up. (laughs) I'm inclined to assume that you... (sighs) did something to steal the thoughts of the owner in a way that has now left him in hospital. Is that accurate? For the most part. Will he recover? That all depends on him. Wouldn't you agree? (laughs) Would a healthy person normally recover from what you did? A healthy person most likely would not have collapsed. Well, that doesn't bode well. I would like to turn back to the panel, please. <laughs> yeah. You have access to the panel now. Yeah. I will turn off all of the holograms. Yeah, they all vanish. The place is like a horrible, sterile environment. What do you think of that, Micah? Authentic? Mm, no, but not trying to be. Yeah, there's probably like really stark white LED lighting. Everywhere, all reflecting off all the the harsher, like white surfaces now. There's a. Uh, there's something honest about. The. Uh, clinical, the. Mass produced look. It's uh. You know. And maybe there's a lot of. I remember a lot of uh, industry. Maybe, yes, it's just. Maybe there's a thought. Let me jump in here before we move too far yeah. past his clinical thoughts. Um, there's maybe a flashback to medical checkups you've probably missed quite a lot of since the lack of Absalom. Um, for you, yeah, Michael. true. Maybe your brain thinks on Doctor Nasmakeklik, and 
the worrying things he'd uh, reported to you regarding your physical um, and that maybe you're now painfully aware that that's probably developed a lot since you last checked since I think it's... he sort of rubs his uh, forearm mm-hmm. just subconsciously almost like he, he's aware he do, he's doing it and then he sort of catches himself thinking am I doing that? Why am I doing that? Yeah like while in conversation with uh, yeah. Beard and then just sort of abruptly stops it's um Maybe Weird notices that as well, maybe you don't, but like you probably maybe notice say uh, Lyco just start to like rub where you clearly know blades come out of and then abruptly stop while you're mm. chatting. Yeah, I don't think you'd need to succeed in a perception roll for that one. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'd no uh comment on it either. It's just That's just like <laughs> Yeah, well fair fair. A fair assessment. Yeah. In the panel, are there options for other holograms? Yeah. I look for something a little bit more uh, casual. <laughs> Can you define <laughs> parameters further, please? Uh, search jazz bar. Yeah, um, like I think yeah. you can totally have that. Why not? Definitely the <laughs> yeah. jazz settings, like the mood lighting activates. Everything's that kind of hushed orange tones instead of it being stark white light. Um, yep. Everything's underlit as if it's shaded. Um, <laughs> piano music plays in the distance. Um, and yeah, it's definitely got a lounge feeling now, like a kind of night, a lounge nightclub type vibe to it. The place is weirdly smoky. Like, yep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the I think smoke the, effects are really impressive. I think the queen just kind of stands up and, or she's probably still standing and she says, is this some attempt at seduction? Weird. <laughs> um. <laughs> I like just the awkward. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to please like her. <laughs> I shall leave you both to your privacy. And she just smirks at both of you and then leaves the room. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. Is that just really Is that Zara just laughing from the couch? <laughs> yes. yes. You you really can't help but rip her, can you? <laughs> I'm uh I guess it's this new body. Yeah. It packs a bit more of a punch. <laughs> I guess I would laugh at that as well. <laughs> Everybody Is it right? I just have this thing where it cuts to Zora with a big fedora, a big massive cigar out of the mouth, big suit on, like you're a gangster. Tommy gun in a suit, just like a case the life, man. Like a tar case next to you. <laughs> this is the life. Well, the cigar's probably not too far. Out. I can yeah. cut it off. <laughs> I uh, I'll offer my assistance, but I don't know that you need it. If if the uh, if the vessel allows or requires an extra pair of hands. Uh, thank you for that. Shall we get settled in for the ride? I hope it is a short one. Doesn't this remind you of the old Alcazar bar on Absalom? Can I rule to see if I remember that one? <laughs> I mean, sure. I mean, I think it's up to you. 25? I think I remember. Yep. I shot a man in there once. <laughs> <laughs> is that why they were closed? Uh, I'll be honest, I think the... the um. Yes, they uh It was an acquired taste, but uh, I liked it. It reminded me of home. Where's home again? You've had a few, haven't you? Yes, but the one that's... Uh, Nix 5. Uh, embodied. He woke up on Akaton. Well, I guess, I guess we're going home. Isn't a rousing endorsement for the Alcazar. But, uh, 
Yeah. See, I always considered... I say always. Obviously not always, but I, uh... I mostly thought of Absalom as home. But, uh... Yeah. I guess... Guess that's out of the question for the time being. Yes. I definitely made myself a place there for a time, but uh, it was only for a couple of years. I was off station as much as I was on station. I probably wasn't too far different, but uh, I don't know, maybe we have a different perspective in time. Although, I have no idea how old you are. I double check the date. <laughs> so, nineteen. Ah. Huh. Uh? Captain. Just so young. Uh, age doesn't really mean the same thing for androids. That's fair. Mm. Well, a lot uh, of things don't. What is the current year again? We're in what, 401 now? Oh. Let me have a good look. Oh, I always forget what the fuck. It's the current year plus. Oh, no, one. sorry, 318. Three I was in 318. And Nyx was born in 300. Hmm. So. 18. We probably jumped forward slightly to 319. Three, um, three yeah. We had a weird gap. Yep. Um, I actually, I'm not going to mention what age I am. <laughs> no. These, you probably know, actually. I I've don't probably know if you've discussed it, but you'll probably have worked it out or have known through your either your your information or through the fact that you are very good at finding things like that. Yeah, I imagine I've taken a wander through the stewards' records once or twice. Yeah, and there there would be, I mean, there are, because I wrote them, <laughs> there, there are yeah. titles on them. Um, yeah. So how old is Michael then? Just now uh, out of character, he died age 33, he would okay. now be about age 44. Yep. Oh, so you don't actually that much younger He's than not me. Right? He means. He's been mm. dead long enough to be used to it. Yeah. <laughs> what a weird sentence. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I, I mean, He's I have been having this yeah. discussion recently about wondering what age people were. Mm. Just wondering. I thought you were younger. I mean, I guess you died younger. Yeah, mm. he's 33. You wasn't an old man by any means. Been a for a wee bit. Like... Yeah, he's, he's, he's alright. Well, that's the thing. Like, he, he is very slowly falling apart, right? He is decaying, but on a scale that means he will live longer than a living person. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he might have a few centuries left in him, naturally. I say naturally with you know, heavy irony, <laughs> but uh, he is, you know, he is the king. He will eventually rot and fall apart like a dead body would, but because of the nature of the way he does it, he is um, actually kind of, he doesn't quite have, you know, perennial youth, but he would decay rather than age, and he decays incredibly slowly. Mm -hmm. So, he probably looks not much older than he is. He you know, if he made an effort to spruce himself up, he could probably look younger than he is. You've probably seen him attempting to blend in by, you know, maybe wearing makeup and, uh, you know, doing whatever he can to keep his hair under control. Because his hair is, is... I keep forgetting to describe his hair. I think I established this quite early, but I'm, I may not have emphasised it enough. His hair is mad, right? I like the idea that <laughs> very horror movie based the undead have terrible hair like, uh, and it's scraggy <laughs> it doesn't stay down like if he wants it to stay down like and you know he has to sort of crop it fairly short and absolutely lather it with stuff like at the moment he's not been paying too much attention to it so mm -hmm. it's probably pretty messy and it's probably pretty long now because he wouldn't have had it cut in months um, he's also probably starting to grow a bit of stubble but like it's such an astronomically slow rate that people barely notice um he, he, he probably doesn't look great <laughs> he, he looks pretty ratty i'll be honest <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> mm -hmm. Rob. 
probably pretty dirty <laughs> at this point. <laughs> I'm looking pretty clean, I think. Yeah, oh, like a new fresh. Nobody gets on your body every day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, I think um, like how does that? Get, I yeah, I was gonna say yeah, how does that play out? Because I think um, as you were discussing ages with each other, um, I think Queen walks back into the I main lounging kind of area uh, with <clears throat> a decanter under her arm and one in her hand and a handful of glasses and then she says I happen to find this and kind of like gestures to all the stuff she's got in her arms and she says uh, and no I'm not going to tell you my age she smirks as she like uses her thumb to flick off the kind of cap on the decanter I'll, uh, I'll take a glass from her mm -hmm. <laughs> even though yes uh, even though I'm good to pilot <laughs> I'm going to call pilot right he's doing the heavy lifting and he's good at it so um and uh and you know to offer like a fairly genuine smile at that well at least that isn't holographic as it says and then takes her glass <laughs> and she kind of just cocks her head at you and she says did the holograms disturb you no they were just uh tacky just marks yes authenticity is preferable she just stares at you as if I'm not talking about that conversation we just had <laughs> mm -hmm. uh <-huh. laughs> which is ironic because she's being passive aggressive really about <clears throat> you being passive aggressive I've already wandered off uh huh <laughs> <laughs> I've had to send her this once already. <laughs> and she just kind of sits across from where the, the captain is. Uh, if I use. Captain. Probably take a big puff of my, 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 my cigar. Yeah. Probably I'm smoking a cigar. He's smoking a cigar, great. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah she, um, she's obviously sat one of the decanters on the table she motions to it and she sat with a she sat obviously what was left of the glasses on the the table in front of the two of you and uh, she just sits drinking out of her decanter uh, I would put my hand up say don't drink appreciate the offer though. merely the spoils of war she starts to glug down some of the wine Speaking of spoils of war, anybody <laughs> check the cargo hold yet? Not yet. She uh, finishes drinking from the bottle, and then she kind of like motions as she's swallowing the the liquid, and she motions between the two decanters. She says, "That's where I found this." Oh. Let's take a look then. Nod. Kind of spring onto my two feet. So I think, yeah, like, uh, as you start to, like, wander into the ship, you realise, A, you don't know where you're going, and B, next to, or sorry, weird isn't following you. Ah. <laughs> ah. Uh, <sighs> like, you've had a look around, but yeah, maybe you do know where the, you probably do know where the, <coughs> like, the, the cockpit is then of this place, the bridge as it would be called. Um, I down my drink, I leave it there, because uh, obviously I need to know where it is so that I can wipe it down there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, I sort of... Um, I'd probably just give a little bit of a sigh. Because I figure he's probably still arguing with her or something and I go back and look. Yeah, and the place is probably like, you go back into that hall and there's nobody there. There's just... Two decanters sat on the, the table. Ah, huh. I think I would probably know the car would be like the place I hadn't checked. Mm -hmm, yeah. So I think I will then head there. Cool. And yeah, he's got there. It's just it's literally just like supply upon supply of uh, what you'd imagine a pleasure yacht would need. Mm. Mm. We uh. We could. 
you reckon any of this is traceable? <laughs> He's just an ex. On Akaton. On Akaton, nothing is traceable. <laughs> we have plenty of cargo space, right? We kind of need some money as well. <laughs> I'm running a little low in funds. I didn't really want to say anything, but uh... yes, your money lives in the computers now. That's so do most of the people. Oh. <laughs> Woke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh... I don't know if she says anything. That she maybe just does that kind of thing where she looks at you and goes, mm, as if deep That's... thought has ensued. <laughs> Actually, it reminds me of something that I wanted to discuss with with you, um, Captain, uh, Nix. Weird. I, uh, oh. I was in contact yeah. with an individual via a number of, well, he contacted me originally via, uh, by backtracking from posts I'd made on a number of, uh, well-known, uh, message and image boards. And, uh, I have to admit, I, I I didn't actually realize until after the fact how terribly obvious it was who it was, because who would be most readily able to track disparate anonymous posts on a website? I pose that as an actual question. I would raise an eyebrow. I've got no idea what you're talking about. A spider. <laughs> uh, well, the webs aren't literal. Nix? Yes. Weird. Weird, sorry. Yes, I will get you started at some point. Weird, <laughs> would you, uh... Care to furnish the answer so I don't look quite so ridiculous? <laughs> uh, and with that, I think Nix... Uh, weird. <laughs> <laughs> Aha! You've broken me. Uh, weird pulls out his uh, computer and Thank pulls up like a that sentence. graphical representation and you know, little animations. Like a little YouTube video. What is the. Computer web? is great! <laughs> uh, and she says, uh, she like puts her hand on like your forearm that's holding your computer out for the, the hollow representation, she says. I was jesting. Okay. That's uh, also not quite what I was referring to, but I, I appreciate the effort. Uh, I meant in terms of, I'm sure you would be quite uh, able to guess who might be able to connect. My Are we needed in this console. location? There were plenty of more suitable seating. Yeah, we, we should perhaps continue in. this in the yeah. cockpit. Nod. <clears throat> uh, we can walk and talk, though. It's not a sit-down conversation. You're the West Wing-style corridor camera. Oh, yeah. Our, our <laughs> yeah. talking this shit right up. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's simple enough. I uh, made a number of posts across a number of boards, and obviously someone with access to one or two of these particular boards was able to trace me back. I uh, met with a mechanized proxy of the individual and uh, long and short of it is he's very interested in the various matters that we've been caught up in and would like to enter a uh, alliance of sorts uh, the individual was well Owner, webmaster, uh, of several uh, such sites, probably best known as Conspiracy Craig. Ah, uh, yes. He uh, seems an interesting individual. Perhaps. I don't know exactly what his interest is, but one thing I am certain of, he is uh, 
he's more informed than his user base. He's he's got information. Not maybe as extensive as some people, and he is trying to piece together a lot of this from the outside, which is difficult, but uh I'll show you my comms and show you what he shared. But he gave me an idea of how much he, he knows. And it was pretty extensive. I assume we're probably reaching the call bet by now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm sure the once we're once we're on Akaton, we can. And this is why I didn't need to arrange a meeting. Before we traveled, once we're in Akaton, he can meet us either through another proxy or in person. I'm not sure which you would choose. As long as it sounds like it can be trusted. Any information is good information at this point. point. Everything so far has... It looks positive. But God. he has an agenda, and I don't know what that agenda really is. So... Hmm. Cautiously optimistic. I would not look into it once we get to Acton. Um, shall we begin the uh, out of character? Obviously, didn't draw back in. <laughs> shall we begin the uh, the travel, the journey? Yes, guys. Yes, because so, 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 obviously, I'd wait for you to do that. <laughs> I can hey, crack on I with that. Yeah, I need to like you can bend the bridge obviously for this conversation. It's enough to house everybody if need be. Yeah. Um, Zig's probably still in the uh, shuttle with the egg, quite frankly. Um, I just feel like that would be yeah maybe safer for Zig in general. That would. Um, yeah. Yeah, and if if weird wants to like punch in the crack it in. Yep. One, yeah. And I'll okay. take one of the other seats by console and they're like. Right. Uh, tell me if there's anything I need to do, I need to do here. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, haven't done this for a while. Weird, you've got access. You can literally just set it to autopilot to orbit Akaton. Yep. Yeah. Beep, so, beep, beep. Done. This is a very expensive ship. It does most of the work for you. So we like here. And then the Queen just takes the seat that would be in the centre of the room I guess and she just sits in it and like spins it side to side again. Zora? So <laughs> uh, I would I would probably actually take a seat like as soon as Lyco says how does this work again? Because <laughs> like, I usually actually just stun arms <laughs> folded. <laughs> but <laughs> no. As soon as I said that but oh yes, I'm forgetting Piloted and <laughs> sit uh, Buckle up, probably. What? Uh, What's her first or a call in Akaton then? Captain? Get in touch with the ship and then re gear while we wait on it, hopefully. Uh, perhaps get other things sorted, like, well, next, not next. Weird. <laughs> weird needs to get his armor sorted as well. I uh, I think there's going to be a little bit of an adjustment period for us all on that. <laughs> uh, 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 I'm I'm getting used to it. <laughs> I appreciate that, Captain. <laughs> Akatan might be a good place to pick up some supplies as well as to unload some. Do you require uh, more supplies than we're in the hold? Different supplies. Yeah. What are we lacking? Uh, Arms and armor. I would not. Could do with updating some of these. Plenty of arms here. <laughs> I think she smirks at that as well. Like, that is funny for her. 
I just, I just like, blank twice. <laughs> it's almost like she, she now gets like the nuance of humour now with language, you know? <laughs> yeah. She's downloaded more than just ship info. Yeah. Um, Allegedly, of course. <laughs> uh, I'm not at all familiar with Akatan. I've been there in passing, but I'll be honest, it wasn't espionage, so I didn't exactly immerse myself in the society. Now, what I do understand is that it might be the sort of place where one could find uh, how how do I put it? Um, Poor people. Uh, not not really. To be honest, you find those everywhere. Um, and she tilts her head and she kind of looks up and goes, also a trash pile covered in dust. This is what I've picked up about Akaton. Or at least yes. these were these were the opinions of... Yeah, I, th I think I've heard people describe it in that way, but... Uh, I have never been trash. there myself. It's really not all dusty. <laughs> Just the I, outside uh, of it. I was hoping there might be um it's it's a delicate issue. I I've been attending a doctor regarding some uh um you know he, he, he actually probably does look mildly embarrassed. He doesn't usually talk about this much and doesn't really know how to express it. Some um, physiological changes that have manifested in recent years. Are you about to grow extra arms, Lyco? I. I. Uh, I don't. I don't think so. But honestly, I can't rule it out. I hope not. No offense. I. I just don't particularly want to have an extra set of arms it, it makes it very hard to seem human and I am not technically a living human but I am a human I think the queen just goes back to like rocking the chair from like side to side but uh, I understand there are uh, you know there are doctors who specialize in them Augmentation and that sort of thing. We called them necromancers in my day. Uh, not. Mm, mm. <laughs> you wish to augment thinking... the former living, necromancy. I wasn't thinking specifically of that kind. I think there. I think there's a market. Well, there. I know there's a market. There's a market in a lot of places, but I think, Akaton may have a. Uh, sizable markets in people who are able to use technology to augment organic or inorganic beings oh Would it be correct and she that? like she perks up at this and goes organic and cyber augmentation is versus she's kind of like as if trying to remember oh you you yeah you to be honest versus you find everything on so. They are the leading experts in cyber augmentation. All these words are new to me. Verses is a wonderful planet, actually. It's kind of strange. Uh, we had some... We had some issues. On Verses, unfortunately. Which we'll have to resolve at a later date. But it's an important place that you should visit at some point. Do you guys um, know it's as if that sounds reasonable? The... Well, I, I, I was I was hoping that if, if I could speak to someone who is an expert on the augmentation of bodies, I could perhaps... <sighs> I mean, it's easier to go to a surgeon, I suppose, but a lot of them 
are going to react negatively to finding parts of the anatomy that aren't normally there. So I was thinking someone who specializes in adding things to the anatomy that aren't normally there might be a good person to go to for my unique situation. You can definitely find someone like that in Akaton. I thought as much. Good. Do you wish to add anything? I wish to understand and catalogue some changes that are arising on their own. Although I wouldn't be against some minor Sagmar documentation. I just don't know if I necessarily... Um, I don't know if I have room... <laughs> She smirks at that, and she says, It depends what you upgrade, I believe. I know some people hide weapons in their arms, but I've already got those. You know, it's... It's tricky. It sounds tricky, yes. Uh, is anyone actually wanting to do anything during the downtime between now and Akaton orbit of interest? I think it may be I good to leave the levels. I get the long rest would be an odd thing. Yeah, I think it would be turns having rests mm -hmm. or like short rests maybe, and I think it might be it may be worth leaving some space narratively excused for mm -hmm. a sec. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because mm. I'm I'm happy to wrap us up here. I'd like as you. Enter drift space, essentially. Something on the roll my d6. Stop up and go. Ah, uh, well, I'm gonna I'm roll a d6. Sleep. Yep. It's on three. So it'll be three days. Three. Go. Cool. Cool. It's not too bad. Three days to drift jump to there. Um, yeah, like, three days of travel, you just hit drift space. And yeah, you just can start rotating shit like that. We'll we'll cover all that uh, next time on Starfinder. Yeah. Next uh, time. Next speaking time of which, what would you like? <laughs> what would you like to call this particular session? Uh, um. Authenticity. I'm just going to put the Azure. I go for it. Yeah, it's a good name. Because like it's all about authenticity, even like unauthentic, like fucking PR stunt. Like, oh, look at me being caring for the man that I actually fucking came hosed. That's allegedly how dare you. <laughs> <laughs> I can put a drive in a fancy dress, but. And I think authenticity is a good name, yeah. That's a good name. Uh, okay, so let us review goals then for authenticity. Yeah, my goal is still the same and is still in progress. Yep. We could do a debrief here and then we could cheese it. And mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I, I think we're making... I, by the time we get... Some I think, personally, by the time we get to Akaton, have Zeg back among us, obviously Callum, I mean not Zeg, mm -hmm. but, and maybe find some time to excuse ourselves of the Queen for a bit, because I think we do need to discuss the situation with her. Uh, I mean the situation around her, and her mm. harness, uh, rather than the situ discuss the situation with her, meaning to talk about it with her. I uh, What I mean to say is like, I have some concerns, although obviously we've done some less than entirely ethical things in our time. Mm. I'm not too worried, and I'm going to steal the guy's shit. I'm gonna, not going to lie. Like, I, I mean, um, but just steal the fucking shit for scrap. But I would have been a little bit more subtle about it had I the choice. And I'm a little worried that her methods, in addition to being stuff that won't necessarily endear people to us, um, might be stuff that gets us in trouble. Like, not just people won't like it, people will actually actively 
seek us out if they realize that, you know, everywhere we go, something like this is happening. <laughs> <laughs> the the trail of coma people. Yeah, it's a I black mean, dragon. Someone may notice that. Or a fucking Alibrian. Uh. <laughs> Bring them on, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, please take a ticket. Get I mean, in line. she fucking she, she <laughs> yeah, exactly. the guy, right? That is what she did. She what? Sorry, she zigged him. <laughs> it was more of a reverse zig. Yeah, yeah. She downloaded and fucked his brain up. <laughs> and it was just yeah, lucky she was there when he collapsed. That's what, yeah. That's what the people think. Yeah. She was in fact thanked for her help. I mean, yeah, she 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 did well, but she also did it very publicly, extremely publicly. Yeah, when you poison people in your court that have betrayed you, you do it publicly. <laughs> so it couldn't possibly have been you. Royal politics, one one. Hmm. Uh. Weird, your goal I think is still ongoing too, unless you wanna... It is, yes. No. Update or change. We've got... Uh, yeah, sorry. No, no, that's cool. I have, I've got secure an ally in CC and get autograph. I think that's still ongoing. Obviously you might need to make contact once you hit orbit of Akaton. Um, that's for you, Lyco, probably. Mm. And then gather intel to pursue next objective. That's really... On you to really decide what the fucking next objective is at some point, really, um, as a group. Uh, uh, so explore a possible connection between the solar and the void eggs. So we've got that as well ongoing. We'll have, a, as I said, three days of downtime um, for travel. Obviously, you can rest up and shit like that for that. There's definitely enough supplies to keep you going on this ship. This ship is pretty damn well stocked. Um, and for the most part, self-sufficient. Uh, any other admin or anything that needs to come up? I don't think so at the moment. No, no. good. In that case, Colin, do you want to start us off with the uh, the roundup? The roundup. The roundup. Um. Yeah, so it was a it was a <laughs> it was a very awkward session actually. Um, a lot of it was like we were navigating the situation with the Queen first myself and then Nyx which is interesting because once again it's kind of us falling into a similar role weird weird I'll go out there eventually apologies I'm really tired um but yeah it's interesting it's, it's, it, obviously there's a lot about her we don't know uh -huh. and uh it's yeah. It's just it's it's gonna be interesting to get to know her better, perhaps uh, more than a little uncomfortable at times, because um, we don't know exactly what she can do, mm -hmm. um, and we don't really know what her goals are. We know, yeah, we know literally that she considers herself still to be the queen, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, she may have said I was a queen, but basically she's, I don't know, I am. Um, mm -hmm. and I think that there's it, it's like there, there's this sort of underlying well what does it mean for her to be queen what does she intend to do once she sort of reasserts herself um, why is she seemingly sort of quite willing and happy to go along with what we're doing like does she think that we actually have like a good offer here, or does she just feel like she has to go along with it for now and ultimately isn't particularly interested in what we have to say or offer? And you know, maybe just this is. I mean, obviously, I think this is a means to an end, regardless of it. But I think there's a question of well, what does that mean? Does it does it mean that it's a means to end in so far as she is going to be like, right, got where we needed to get, everything worked out there, I'm going to leave these guys to it. Or is it just a, 
or is it more of like um you know these these people could be a problem for me mm. mm-hmm. but for now i need someone to get me around and help me out in this world because you know i can't just download the brain of everyone i meet mm-hmm. um, and probably she could download the brain of a lot of people she meets but i don't think she can do it every second of every day and i don't think she could do it to everyone mm-hmm um, I think there will be plenty of people who would be quite resistant to that. And she, de- like you have experienced, she definitely does seem to have limitations as well. It's not mm-hmm. like she's some kind of god tier character. She does just yeah. seems to be somebody with skill, right? So I think we have um, mutual interest at the moment, and I think she, I think she doesn't see us as like a a problem or a threat necessarily. Although I think she obviously pretty competent. Maybe a little weird. Um, I dare you. But I, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know where that relationship is going to go in the future. Because obviously, weird is uh, quite. Don't want to say uncertain about her. I think it would be more accurate to say something like he, he finds her slightly distasteful. At least that's the impression I got. I, I don't know if he's any less certain about her than any of us, but I think he isn't finding it as easy to go along with her bullshit as I do. I mean, I don't know. Alex, that's maybe one for you to answer. Mm-hmm. Right. As far as that, is that a question? It's, it's, it's not necessarily even a question, it's really more my observation. It's like, yeah. uh, I think, like, your your interactions with her are more pointed than mine. Yes, yeah, that, there's, uh, I guess, a strange tone between us. Um, somewhere between playfulness and antagonism. Yeah, and I think we've definitely seen a bit of that tonight with... Um... Mm-hmm the passive aggressive let's be blunt with each other mm-hmm. kind of conversation he's kind of had um, yeah plus she was happy enough to give you access to the ship as well it was kind of more of a case of maybe it hadn't even occurred to her that you would need that you know yeah I think weird is less uh, deferential to her in the way that she's used to mm. yeah and so there's less stepping around that and treating her almost more as another crew member which I imagine grates somewhat. Mm. Well, it's interesting because obviously you have that slightly less reservoir of tact than the others. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I even include Zora in that pile. And also, I guess, a very tactical speaker. Despite his participation <laughs> in theft this evening, mm-hmm. um, slightly more moral scruples, generally. Um, yeah, probably. That are being offended regularly by the Queen or, you know, inferred to be offended. So Yeah. It's a value clash. Yeah, because, I mean, she did kind of just take this guy's stuff. And brain. Yeah. 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 It's interesting to see, like, what she has actually taken of his or what's just considered, like, general knowledge. Mm Mm-hmm. Because she definitely seemed to have his opinion of Akaton. Um, I think that is probably more offensive by far to me than it is like a, you know, any sort of oh, you know, we're 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 gonna take some supplies. Eh. We've we've done shady shit for money before, right? Mm-hmm. But I think there's a difference to Lyco in terms of invading someone's mind. Mm-hmm. And doing it quite callously because she didn't know what was in there until she broke in. So it's not like she went, oh, the guy's an arse too. Mm-hmm. It depends our approach. It depends if she can read minds as well as a. Uh, yeah, it, it depends how, them. Just how much she <laughs> knew in advance. Mm-hmm. I mean, how did she know the first person she would air quote attack would have access to a ship, right? Yeah, that's true. It's, it's not clear how much she knows or how she knows it. Uh, she obviously had some reason to approach yeah, go him. Go for who she wanted, yeah. Mm. I mean, maybe she was there just sitting at a bar waiting for a rich guy to offer her a drink and maybe he was sleazy. We'll never know. 
Or will we not? I mean, I mean we might go, not. Could go <laughs> check the uh, security food, I guess, of the uh, starport. Um, yeah. Anything else you want to add, Lyco? Um, uh, nothing's coming to me off the top of my head. Okay, if it does, we'll, we can cycle back. Zora. Nico. Hello. Hello. And welcome. Thank you. <laughs> uh, session 46. Let's just get it started now. Enjoy. <laughs> uh, cool, let's go, man. Let's roll. Um, enjoy. Enjoy the Queen's antics. Very antique. Very, very dry. I like it. <laughs> what do you mean like by that it. comment? Hey, uh, sneaky. <sighs> Getting racial in here, boys. Oh, well, man. Well. Hey, she she said she'd get you a star vessel. She did. She did. I had a feeling it was going to go like that. I'm she happy it was star less public than I was expecting. Um, I mean, it was public. You know what I mean? Hmm? Less harmfully public. <laughs> you waste was two people taking pictures of you. Like. Yeah, that's fine, right? <laughs> like, everybody's like happy lizard, man. Love it. Yeah, if it was, love you know, that Zora guy, man. Was there anything to connect to? It was probably fine. <laughs> I mean, I was already spotted, right? They had about a million pictures. Might as well play it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I enjoyed the, just the conversation between Nix and... Uh, not Nix. What weird. Weird. Mm -hmm. Lyco. Yeah. that. That was good. Oh. After the Queen implies Nix. that they're an item. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, it was fun. It's fun. It's a chuckle in the background. <laughs> yep, as it cuts to his <laughs> cigar. He's <laughs> <Zora's laughs> already made himself at home. Oh, that's good. It's well, man. Um, what else? What else is there? The most enjoyable parts. I was going to say, there wasn't oh, too much. Good. It was mostly getting every day through the, the starport scene into the spaceship and then heading to Akaton, that was the most part really, and a lot of it was finding out how she managed that along the way. Yeah, I'm mildly interested in, well I, well I guess I'm mildly interested in how she actually got the information out of you, so that he's obviously brain sucked the man. Mm -hmm. Good lad, good lad. I mean she pretty much answered it when we were down. Yeah, she did, uh, yeah, yeah. Like, she did. Like he pretty much said, did like, you just psychically yeah. take this information from this man's head and she went, after a fashion. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> Probably. Uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Yeah. And weird Alex? <laughs> yes. Yep. Alex. <laughs> I, I thoroughly enjoyed the interaction with Lyco, actually. It was just kind of big into the backstory. <laughs> um, None of that uh, zig getting in the way of your character yeah. development, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm free from that uh, that rat. Sad child. Yeah, that attention that, seeking that child. child. <laughs> Always has to yeah. be the light in the room. It's just kind of that, you know, these characters inhabited the same world when they weren't together. Yeah. It was, it was fun. Um, yeah. And, you know, obviously. I like that aspect this. of that. Sorry, just to talk about Akatol a bit more. Like the fact that you, like, or Abalon as well. Like, he's of. Like they've got Absalom Station, you've got Abalon in common, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. A bit that. Yeah, like it's just it's interesting to actually see some of the stuff that obviously we wrote, like almost two years ago. Yeah. Actually, come up, which is nice. Um, <laughs> Deep-seated backstory, which feels, you know, like it actually happened these you know, nowadays. Yeah. And hearing the the captain's comments and japes on all of that. Um. And yeah, the, the entire shenanigans with the Queen has been fantastic. I mean, I feel Just like we get the measure of her. Yeah, and I think we all knew, like, she didn't have a clue what a spaceship was initially. Like, mm. I think we all knew yeah. this. Like, it was a star vessel. Yeah. It's going to be a star vessel, as far as she's concerned. And, like, she got you one. Or, yep. she, got you. she kind of she got, got, your, got herself one, quite frankly. But you it's know, exactly. every rose has its star. <laughs> no. This is our reference today, sorry. And, uh, yeah. Never as a sad. Before we sing over you, anything else you would like to add? Weird. <laughs> uh, no, I think that's everything for me. 
Yeah, it was My just brain's a... starting to slow up at this time. That's okay, we've, we've run significantly over because of our late start again. Uh, it's a shame that we couldn't get any of Zig this session. Uh, yeah, Cal. Cal promises to everyone, uh, by my authority, that he will make that up to you all next week somehow, or an next session somehow. Mm -hmm. I don't know how he'll do this, but he will. Uh, or else... Um, <laughs> or else you're all having a giant solar omelette, I guess. Um, I do enjoy that. I do look forward to that moment, man. Wait it just seen changes. <laughs> I've cooked everyone breakfast. Yeah. It's probably a very playable part as well, and it just kind of gets everybody to eat that egg. <laughs> <laughs> so Lizard likes eggs, all right? Yeah, so the next week on Starfinder, we've pretty much got. Talk about the downtime between travel. So we have three days worth of RP if you want to have it. Uh, hopefully we can catch Zig and such up in that uh, case. We've also got making contact with uh, CC. Yep. Making contact with CC. Uh, Conspiracy Craig. And then ideally making contact with the final hour and Alice. Yes. So I'm pretty much sure that's what's on the They're agenda. No <laughs> yes. It's uh, been that while. It really has. Yeah, no, I'm actually going to have to remember how the hell Atlas actually even exists. I to RP her instead of just defaulting to the Queen mode that I've been in recently. A uh, fun one, eh, Timmy? It'll just be a quiet nod to each other as they pass. <laughs> yes, I can just tell you that now. I mean, that's just something the Queen meets her, right? Like, I mean, like, I assume she will. But obviously Lyco seems to have a lot he wants to talk about about the Queen before we get to that stage. Only I think Sons the Queen yeah. in that conversation. Yeah. Maybe Sons the Queen is maybe the session title for next week. Um Yeah. But I'm good with that there. Thank you everybody for playing. It was fun. Thank you for Thank running. Thank you for running. And yeah. goodbye everybody. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye.